Welcome to the Community Bank Live Streaming Network. Go, Go Canes! Welcome to the Community Bank Live Streaming Network. Go, Go Canes! Something coming from this, he said, but we really shouldn't have to get a feed from that. We 
she is somewhere else, but you can't tell by looking. Um, Oh, you still there? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. We're going to get going here pretty quick. Thank you, okay on that end? Yeah. <laughs> Bill, I am. And raise some of these windows? I think so. If you'll help me with them. I can't do much lifting with my back. I'll let you kind of. Let's see. Let's see if it, which is that unlocked straight out? Yeah. Well, Hank, I think we've had an interesting tailgate show. I want to thank those that are listening tonight. Uh, still uh, looks like about 15 minutes from the kickoff of tonight's ball game. 7.30 start, and I'm telling you, if you're in the listening area of WRDO Radio, still got time to make your way out to the ball game. Hank, as I've walked downstairs, took a look around, and uh, I tell you, the, the pink out uh, uh, has been a success uh, as I walked around. Uh, whatever, whoever did the advertising yes. and got the word out on pink out, it, it's been a great success here at the stadium, it looks like to me. Yes, it has. You see pink everywhere, out on the field with the cheerleaders and up in the stands with the fans. Uh, it, uh, it should be a, a, a big, a big, uh, just a, a wash of pink tonight up in the stands, and uh, good for uh, good for our fans tonight uh, celebrating uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Awareness Month. As we begin to move into the ball game, we want to thank our tailgate sponsors. We're beginning to wrap up the tailgate show. Of course, that's in the road show as well. We combine that. The City of Fitzgerald, one of our sponsors. Also, Badcock's Home Furnishing and more. People's Hardware and Supply Warehouse. Taylor, Townsend, and Brady Insurance. DNF Grain. Colony City Finance. Cleghorn's Grocery. Quality Muffler and Repair. Repair. Southern Physical Therapy. Rutherford's Insurance Agency. Conley Dental Care and our Hurricanes uh, Boosters are the Ben Hill County Sheriff Lee Cone and staff. <laughs> football on Friday night. Yes, we certainly want to thank those guys and also another big thank you to uh, Taylor Henderson uh, and B.J. Rogers at uh, Family Fitness Center. They sponsor our... Welcome to the Community Bank Live Streaming Network. Go, Go Canes! rushing for Worth County uh, last year. A couple of uh, uh, hurricanes that uh, 
that really uh, had a good night uh, against Worth last year. Uh, Tyler Williams, five carries for 86 yards, and Cylon Davis, he had eight carries for 71 yards uh, on the night. Uh, and for uh, Worth County, their leading rusher uh, was Caden Chester, eight carries for 21 yards. And Hank, just looking at some more individual uh, names uh, that uh, were, were part of that ball game last year, Sultan Cooper, he had six rushes for 27 yards. Uh, Cam Jackson, he had five carries for 14 yards. As you hear, a lot of folks carried the ball last year. Uh, Drew Moore had two carries for 17 yards. DeAndre Pascal, he had a carry for seven yards. Antoine Doctor, a man that a young man that we've mentioned a good bit this yes. year. We like Antoine Doctor's effort. Last year against Worth, he had five carries for nine yards. Uh, and uh, Cameron Johnson. He <laughs> again on a 59-yard touchdown run. Fitzgerald was on its way to a victory as that second quarter ended. Fitzgerald was up 21 to nothing uh, over Worth County. And then Fitzgerald came back to Andre Pascal, a seven-yard touchdown run, made it 28 to nothing. Cylon Davis, a one-yard touchdown run. Fitzgerald really uh, putting things on and putting some more points on the board. We were up 35 to nothing. And then Salton Cooper, the last score for Fitzgerald came at 8:01 of the third quarter. Sultan Cooper with a good uh, night that night. I give him a four-yard touchdown run in your final last year. Fitzgerald 42 and Worth County nothing. I'll take that tonight, Bill. I'll take that tonight. <laughs> but uh, I think with the, uh, Worth County's offense tonight, I look for them to score a little bit. Uh, Fitzgerald, hopefully we can be able to run the football tonight if we can. I, I certainly like our chances. Yeah. And I, I think we got us a, a spotter in the booth tonight, Bill. Yeah, I go, Mark. Got, got us a spotter in the booth tonight. Uh, yeah, he's joined us, uh, uh, seems like, well, at least once a year for the last several years. Hank uh, Bryson Scott from up in Sylvania, my grandson. Uh, I tell you, I always look forward to seeing him here, and I think you, uh, he's always fun to come and join us yes. in the press box, and uh, uh, he's growing up, isn't he, Hank? Uh, it certainly is. That young man is lifting some weights. That is obvious. <laughs> I told Bill, I said, uh, uh, Bryson has uh, grown up. I said, he's not the, the little the little kid that used to come up here and join us. I said, this man is, is becoming a, he's starting to become a young man there, Bill. <laughs> good, look, good looking kid, though. Yeah, the little chair he used to sit behind, yes. behind <laughs> you back there. Uh, he, he fills that chair up. Good yeah. Pretty good now, yes, he? Does. Yes, so, uh, he does. Yes, uh, he does. Always fun to have grandkids down, and always yeah. fun to have, especially on Friday nights at JC Stadium. And uh, Bryce, it's good to have you in the press box. Yes. Hank, uh, looking at the clock, uh, nine minutes left before we get this thing started here tonight. And uh, let's go back for the station for this timeout. You're listening to Purple Hurricane Football on Radio 96.9. Hey, Doc. Hip set, Bryson. Okay. Hip set, that's plates and everything else yeah, over there. Plates and napkins. And uh, look and see. Not that many problems there as yet.
I think there's some other area matchups around the, the, the state tonight and, of course, around our area. Everybody now is kind of in that region run. Might be yes. another team or two that hadn't got to the region, but generally most teams are making those region runs. Uh, some area games of interest, Bacon County at Johnson County, Benedictine at Burke County, uh, Blakely County at, at, at Dublin. That's going to be a good matchup. Uh, Bryan County and Meadow, uh, two teams over near the Savannah area. Meadow's got a real good football team this year. They defeated Irwin County a couple of weeks ago, if you remember. Charlton County at Turner County, Clint County at Lanier County. Griffin and Perry will be a good matchup in Central Georgia. Jeff Davis and Dodge County, a matchup in our region. Lowndes and Val also, that'll draw 10,000 yes, people to that, that event, uh, won't it? Sumter County and Berrien County, two more region matchups. Swainsboro and Jefferson County. Uh, Tiff County at Thomas County Central. Ware County at Jenkins. Uh, Hank and a couple more uh, matchups. Uh, of course, Wilcox County and Tailfair. And the big matchup with us is Worth County here in Fitzgerald. Yes, it's going to be a good one tonight. Uh, a lot of good football games around the area tonight, uh, especially down in Valdosta. That should be a barn burner tonight. Hank, we mentioned uh, we mentioned Worth County, and uh, we mentioned uh, Caden Chester, yes. the young man, a freshman last year uh, against the Fitzgerald. He had eight carries for 21 yards. But when you look at his stats uh, this year through six games, uh, quite a difference, 106 carries for 831 yards. Yeah. Somebody wearing purple and gold from Fitzgerald's got to get their hands on that young man tonight. Yeah, they certainly do, Bill. He's averaging uh, almost 140 yards a game, uh, has really played well this year. They also have a, a quarterback, a young freshman, Lyndon Worthy. He has thrown for over 1,300 yards on the season. Uh, so he's averaging, uh, you know, over 200 yards a game. So an excellent mix of run and pass for the Rams. So uh, Coach John Gamble and his defensive staff certainly have their work cut out for them tonight to try to slow down this Rams offense. You mentioned Lyndon Worthy. Hank, uh, you mentioned 1,317 yards. That is correct. Uh, he's attempted 140, completed 86, 1317, as you said, average of 15.7 per per uh, reception <laughs> so uh you gotta like his effort yes yes without a doubt hey hey very nice ladies very nice <laughs> i tell you i got some uh some supporters of my wife in the stands over there tonight. i see that Hank. some of I those primary that. school teachers have uh brought out some uh, some photos that, that ought to be fun tonight all right, Hank, I've uh, got to watch this clock over here. We're just four minutes away from the starting of the ball game tonight. The Fitzgerald Purple Hurricane football team, they're out behind the cheerleading sign. They're getting ready. Uh, all of our cheerleaders are dressed in pink tonight yes. as well. Still got those purple and gold flags leading the parade along with those black and white, uh, excuse me, black and red hurricane flags. Those cheerleaders right. are leading that. Hank, I see the captains making their way on the field. Back to the station for this quick timeout. And we'll Welcome to the Community Bank Live Streaming Network. Go, Go Canes! After this.
Well, Hank, we're about ready to go, and I'm going to tell you, after a couple of weeks off and a big win over at Dodge County, I'm ready. I, yes. I think the community is ready. I am, too. I think the talk around town, uh, the, the the barbershop talk, the beauty shop talk, I call it. I think our team got back on track last the last game, yes, and I did. think we're ready to go here. Hank, who's representing the Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes out at midfield with the coin toss? Uh, the captains for tonight were Calvin Tillman, Bill Boone, DeAndre Pascal, Brandon Brown, and Gabe Pierce. Hank, I'm like you. I'm not sure who those, <laughs> cough, uh, excuse me, those Worth County Rams uh, players were. I might get my young grandson, yes. Bryson Scott, to see if he can identify those we numbers can, with them young eyes. How about that? We definitely need those young eyes tonight. Those uh, white jerseys with the gold numbers. They, they're mighty hard to read <laughs> for, for this man. Hank, I think you misquoted. White jerseys, white number, yeah. gold trim. <laughs> it is tough. Well, we'll see tough. if we can get those identified yeah, for you. We were just joking when we said we had a spotter if in the booth. He may actually be our spotter tonight. I think he's our spotter. <laughs> All right, checking the scoreboard. Less than a minute left, and here comes all those DLS football players. And be careful out there, guys. Bill, be careful. Bill, do you think there are any happier folks in the stadium than those young men following the Hurricanes right there? We, we mentioned this DLS night, and, of course, Keith Morris and all his his group uh, invites all our youth football players to make their way to the stadium. They get to run on the field uh, with, the, with the big boys. Of course, they, they let them follow them. They don't yes. let them get out front. So, uh, uh, but they They've made their way through the field. Uh, they ran the whole length of the field, 100 yards, and uh, now they'll make their way to the stands to enjoy the ball game. Hank, I'm ready tonight. Fitzgerald Worth County here at the stadium. Good to be back at home. Thank you for uh, uh, being there tonight, listening to us. We, we've got a good one in store for you. Yes. And, uh, and I'd say we got a kickoff coming up here. And, Hank, I'm going to go and turn this thing over to you. Thank you for uh, being a part of the broadcast all day long. Hank, you and I have had a long day starting with breakfast with the Canes, but it's time to kick this thing off. And with play-by-play -play of tonight's broadcast, the voice of the Purple Hurricanes, Mr. Hank Brady. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. Fitzgerald won the toss, and they elected to receive. So Worth County will be kicking. They're kicking from the field house end of the stadium, and we'll be kicking towards the old armory. So uh, here we go. Fitzgerald coming out now. Looks like we've got Jay Alexander and Cam Johnson will be back deep to receive this kick for the Hurricane. Those guys are standing at their own 15-yard line. We've got it teed up and just awaiting the official to blow this thing live, and we'll have some football action for you. And there's the whistle, and here comes our kick. And it's an onside kick, just a slow roll, and Fitzgerald at his Pascal, number seven for Fitzgerald. Little onside kick attempt right up the middle of the field, but a heads up, Pascal will recover this football, and Fitzgerald will start with outstanding field position at about their own 40 yard line. Nice heads up play there by DeAndre Pascal. Yes, it was, Hank. John, DeAndre Pascal, number seven for Fitzgerald. That ball was a, a pretty well onside kick attempt. Yes. Don did not surprise Pascal. He knew what he needed to do. Don't try to pick it up, just go cover the ball up. He did. Good field position for Fitzgerald as we start at our own 42. Yes, Fitzgerald first and 10 on 42 yard line. Two receivers left, one to the right. When shotgun formation, this is a direct snap. That's given. To Cam Johnson, he's going to give to Calvin Tillman. And Cam Tillman's going to throw a pass, and this is going to be a touchdown. Little razzle-dazzle on play number one, and that is Antoine Doctor with the touchdown reception. A nice play, little give from Bill Boone to Cam Johnson, and Johnson then gave back to Calvin Tillman coming around on the reverse, and Tillman stops, and Doctor just standing all alone, Bill, at about the 20-yard line. Stopped, caught the football, and turned around and could have walked in the end zone. But one play and one score for the Hurricanes. What a way to start the night. <laughs> what a way to start the night, Hank. Woo! We started at the 42, so that will give us a 58-yard touchdown pass. One play, one pass, one reception, one throw, one touchdown. And here's the point after. We've got Cox now in to attempt the point after. Uh -oh. oh, whoa, we got whistles and a high snap. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Uh, it looked like it was motion against the Rams, and it is. There was a lot of movement on that defensive front, and they got into the neutral zone. So we'll uh, take off the point after team, and out comes the offense. And I believe we will go for two now with the ball resting at the uh, one-and-a-half yard line. 
the, the whistle affected that snap, but that snap was high over Cal's head, was <laughs> rolling back at about the 20 yard line. It, it had been blown dead well before the snap, though. Is it our lucky night? One play, <laughs> one touchdown, one bad snap, but yes. Worth County was offside. Exactly. So maybe it's our night. Here's our go for two in our heavy monster package. It's direct snap to that's Pascal, number seven, and he walks into the end zone, and the try for two is good. So with 11.48 remaining in this first quarter, lightning strikes here at J.C. Stadium. Your score, Fitzgerald 8 and Worth County 0, and we'll be right back. Oh, got it. Oh, that was Tillman to Westbrook. No. Uh, I thought it was 13 that caught the pass, Doctor. No. Okay. Did you think it was Westbrook number I, I zero? I couldn't. I can't see. I can't see him. No. I thought it was 13. You've got to help us. Yeah. Did, you, mean, really? did you think I was 13 that caught the pass, or did you? I thought it was 13, Bill, but now it could have been. It could have been zero. Uh, but I thought it was 13. What has Westbrook been receiving anything? He's been playing some wing back. Yeah. We'll have to ask somebody. Yeah, we will. All right, Paul. We'll take it back whenever you're ready. Fitzgerald trying to open it up a little bit. Uh, a very nice play. Coach Pruitt was just running down the sideline. You could tell he was very excited uh, with the result of that first one. Worthy now will bring the Rams set. He's got twin receivers to the right side, single receiver left, two back, one to his right and left, and he's going to throw on first down. He's got a receiver out there, and this is a nice throw on target and a wonderful job by Fitzgerald. Trying to see is that Jay Alexander over that no Jay's running in the ball game over that far sideline. A fantastic play to knock that ball away. And that was Bill Boone with the play for Fitzgerald. Hey, that would have been about a 22-yard reception, and it was a nicely thrown ball. Yes. It really was just well covered by Fitzgerald. Yes, right uh, I thought he'd caught the ball, but I saw it fall, fall incomplete back to the line of scrimmage, second and ten for the Rams. I did too, Bill. Let's see what we've got here. We've got whistles out. And we've got motion by the Rams. Bill, that throw was right on target and just a fantastic job by Bill Boone, just timing it perfectly. And he just raked the ball away to uh, pull that ball out incomplete. Second down 10 now. And with the penalty against the Rams, it's gonna back them up five. So it'll be second down and 15. The ball now back at the Rams 37 yard line. Twin receivers for the Rams. Worthy shotgun formation. He's got one back. Uh, that's Chester to his right. He takes, he throws quickly out to the right side. Pass is complete. He makes one defender miss. We'll finally force him out of bounds. It's going to be a gain of about six, maybe seven. Bill trying to see, is that, was that number one with the reception? On the far side. Was that He's coming over this side now, is it? That was, uh, Bryson said that was number one, Jackson on the reception. I, I thought it was twin receivers now to the left side, one to the right. Again, Worthy's in, in shotgun formation, and we've got uh, whistles, and Bill, we actually were, were moving across the line of scrimmage, but I think we got the timeout first, another lucky break. Coach John Gamble upset with his defensive lineman right now, but uh, with a timeout on the field, once again, let's go back to Paul in Roanoke Valley. I'm telling you now, Bill, I can't, I can't see any of these numbers. I'm no. going to do the best I can.
And on third down, third down and eight, and the pass is complete over the middle to the tight end. A nice throw by Worthy. He's hit immediately, but it will be a first down for the Rams at the Hurricane 43-yard line. This time Worthy's going to give to Chester. Fitzgerald all up. Absolutely nowhere for Chester to go. No gain on the play. Trying to see who comes up from the bottom of that pile. I believe that was... Uh, I think that was Tula. Bill, I'm telling you, these, these numbers, I believe that was Tyson King with the tackle. <laughs> Second down, 10 now. Again, Worthy brings the Rams to the line of scrimmage. He takes quickly, throws a little out route to the right side. The pass is complete. We missed a tackle. He's down the sideline. It's going to be close to a first down. We'll have to check the mark. Not bad coverage, but we missed a tackle about five yards down the field. And the receiver scampered three or four more yards. And let's see, yes, they will mark him enough for the first down in his first and 10 Rams at the Hurricane 33 yard line. 10 yard gain on that completion. Rams moving quickly now. Twin receivers left, one to the right. Worthy takes it, time he gives it to Chester, trying to find the right corner. He found the corner. We'll force him out of bounds, but he's going to pick up six, maybe seven. A nice job by the Rams blocking out on that right side. It's going to bring up second down now. We'll call it second down and eight. Skin two, gain of eight. Rams break the huddle with trips. This, Rams break the huddle with trips this time to the left side. And twin receivers right. Worthy all alone in the back, but he takes drop straight back. We got quick pressure. They're going to throw a little tunnel screen out of the right side. We missed a couple of tackles, and then we grabbed him good right by the face mask. I could, I could see that one from here. We spun him around, and we've got flags coming out everywhere. The completion will be enough for the first down. Only needed a couple. Looked like he gained about four, maybe five, but we're going to have a personal foul face mask going against our Canes to tack on at the end of that, and that's going to move the Rams down deep into Hurricane territory. I ain't no doubt about that one. Uh, no, he, no had, he gained enough enough for the first down yeah. on the reception, but uh, you get credited with that. The chain's going to move 15 yards. Uh, that might be a half the distance. I'm not sure where the, where the play ended up. Looked like a half the distance, but they'll have it first and goal at the nine. And just inside the 10-yard line. You're right, Bill. And it's twin receivers down to the left side. Worthy and Chester, your back's in the backfield. Worthy takes, he quickly throws out here to the left side. The pass is complete. And again, we miss a tackle, and the Rams will score. And Fitzgerald having a little bit of difficulty, Bill, so far in this game, getting these guys on the football, uh, on the ground. We're trying to check. I'm looking across the way. I believe that's number eight. Eight, that's DeAndre Fulton. That's the big, that's the big uh, receiver for Worth County. But this will be a nine-yard touchdown completion, and the Rams come ro roaring right back. 9.46 remaining in this first quarter, and the kick is up. We had all kinds of penetration, but uh, the kick is up, and the kick is good. Boy, Bill, I really thought we might block that one, but uh, a nice job by the kicker for the Rams, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. And with 9.46 remaining in this first quarter, your score is tied at seven, and we'll be right back. And the Rams with the kickoff, taking a, play, a page out of the Fitzgerald playbook, a high pooch kick over on the right side. 
It's going to be fielded by the Hurricanes in a short return, but again, it'll be nice field position for the Hurricanes. They'll have it first in line. Bill, it seems like a lot of these teams now are, have gone to that pooch kick to try to avoid the, uh, you know, the kick return. If you've got a kicker that can't get that thing in the end zone, a lot of teams are going to this pooch style kick. All righty, Hank, that was Landon Worthy to Dante Fulton on that uh, reception there for a nine yard touchdown from Worth County. A nine yard, uh, as we said, and uh, that, that puts him on the board. Fitzgerald eight and Worth County seven. And on first down, we've got a direct snap to Pascal, and Pascal just some bruising yards, just punishing those guys, lowers those shoulders, picks up five, six. Let's give him seven on the carry. He's going to bring it up second down and three. Nice tough time, DeAndre Pascal. Clock running. Under uh, nine minutes remaining in this first quarter, and both teams have scored. This could be a, uh, a shootout tonight if this first two drives are any indication. Fitzgerald now in their heavy package to the left side. Looks like this is Pascal once again set to take a snap. And the snap is not Pascal. Pascal's out front blocking, trying to see who that was with that snap. Here he comes. That was Doctor, 13. That was, that was Antoine Doctor with the carry. He'll pick up the first down, only needed three. They're gonna give him four. And it's a first down hurricane ball at their own 48 yard line. Bill, it's, it's difficult to, to read the hurricane numbers and it's almost impossible to read the numbers <laughs> on the Rams jerseys. Heck, I'm gonna put on my list to get us some binoculars. Yes. And we, uh, that'll help us as we, we, we go through these, these games. And no doubt about it. And on first down, that's that Cam, is that Cam Johnson, I think it is, with a direct snap. Johnson coming around right in. That's Doctor one more time, 13, nice play. Antoine Doctor coming around right in, and he'll pick up another Hurricane first down, crosses into Ram territory, and he'll take it down and is forced out of bounds at the 39-yard line of Worth County. I want to give a quick early shout out to my old buddy Bob Tate up in Maine. Bob called me right before kickoff. Bob, hope you're enjoying the broadcast tonight, buddy. Twin receivers break the huddle to the right side for Fitzgerald. Pascal shotgun formation. Now we're going to motion Cam Johnson back into the backfield. And we're going to fake to Johnson. And Pascal keeps it straight up the middle of the field. He's got a big hole. Nice job by that fish on offensive line. Just parted the ways. And Pascal down inside the 30, across the 25, down to the 24. And another Hurricane first down. Nice tough run in by Pascal, but what a great job by that offensive line. Yep, first down for Fitzgerald, Hank. Uh, we're moving the ball uh, pretty well on this drive. Remember our first drive resulted in a touchdown at one play, a 58-yard touchdown pass. It was the first play of the ball game, and after Worth County has scored, Fitzgerald has advanced it down now to the Worth County 24-yard line where we've got it first and 10. Twin receivers left. Single to the right, now we're gonna motion Pascal right. We have a direct snap, this is Boone with the carry. Boone's tripped up, good penetration by one of the Rams corner defenders and he'll trip up Boone. It's gonna be a short game for Fitzgerald, uh, just a couple. Second down eight, under seven minutes to go. Fitzgerald down, second down and eight at the 22 yard line of Worth County. Score tied at seven. Calvin Tillman splits wide right for Fitzgerald. Two backs in the backfield. Direct snap, we're trying to find some room at right. Tackle, not much there. Hit hard at the line of scrimmage, maybe a gain of one. That was Brandon Brown with the carry for Fitzgerald. Gain of only one, it's gonna bring up a third down now. Now let's, let's give him two, they, they stretched it out a little bit. We'll give him two, it's gonna bring up a third down now and six. Antoine Dr. Tyson King checking in the ball game for Fitzgerald. Tight formation. 
Tillman split to the right side, but he's he's in tight. Now we're motion three guys left, one to the right. I'll take this snap. That's Doctor's going to throw quickly to the left side. A couple of defenders out. Excuse me, a couple of blockers out front. We missed the block, Bill, and uh, brought down immediately. I'm trying to see, I believe that was Brandon Brown with the reception. Eight, it was. Had three receivers to the left side. Uh, we quickly hit Brandon Brown with two blockers up front, but we just we just whiffed on the blocks, to be quite honest, and not much of a gain, no, no gain at all, as a matter of fact. So we've got it fourth down now and six at the 20 yard line, and it looks like we're gonna go for this. We break the huddle with two receivers to the right side. Boone and Pascal, your back's in the backfield. Boone takes it, he rolls right. Looking to throw, a little throwback, and the pass is low and incomplete. Some quick pressure on Boone. He turned on a little throwback. He rolled right, turned the throwback left, and uh, just an incomplete pass. And so on downs, Fitzgerald will turn it over at the Worth County 20-yard line. Well, Bill, that was a promising drive that just got down at the 20 yard line and just, just sort of stalled out. We just could not move the football. That was Malcolm Burst uh, on that uh, yes. reception or incomplete uh, pass. Yeah, it looked like if we, we could have completed it, there was some room to run. Just not a very good throw. Trip receivers left one to the right. Now, Worthy's gonna throw deep down the right sideline on a little go route. Pretty good coverage over there by Boone. In stride with the Receiver and the ball will fall incomplete. Second down, 10 now for Worth County. Heck, a couple of scores so far. Calvin Tillman to Antoine Doctor. We mentioned that that 58-yard touchdown pass to open the foot the football game, and the Fitzgerald went for two, and that, that play was good. And this in-game scoring summary. Uh, let's catch this play first, Hank. Second down, 10 now. Shotgun formation for Worth. He's got back to his right and left. He drops. Going to throw a little swing pass out to Chester on his left side and pretty good coverage. We're gonna force him out of bounds. Nice coverage. Nice job Fitzgerald and that was Anthony Lewis with the stop for Fitzgerald. Pass is complete but only for a gain of about three. So it's gonna bring up a big third down now for the Rams. Again, Calvin Tillman, Antoine Doctor, that 58 yard touchdown pass and this in game scoring summary is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner agent of Coldwell Bankers Active Real Estate. And they're located 125 South Main Street in downtown Fitzgerald. Their phone number, 423-SOUL, that's 423-7653. And on third down, nice coverage. Let's see. Worth County wanting a, a flag. That was Bill Boone with coverage on a little slant route. I think that was Fulton, the intended receiver. And let's see, no, no flags. That was excellent coverage. I thought it was. Uh, Worth County was motioning for the flag. I do not see any, and out comes the punt unit on fourth down and seven. And I'm going to see, uh, I, Bill, it does not look like we will send anyone back deep to field this kick. All right, the punter will be standing at the, his own 10-yard line. The line of scrimmage is the 22-yard line, and uh, like you said, nobody back uh, to receive the punt. Fitzgerald, eight, Worth County, seven, with 3.55 left in this first quarter. Ooh, a nice rush by Fitzgerald, good penetration. And it's a high kick that goes out of bounds. Well, uh, <laughs> a little action out on the field. Um, but no flag. And let's see where they'll mark this ball. Fisher gonna have fantastic field position. The, the, the punt sort of went off his side of his foot. Fisher had great penetration. And it's gonna be first and 10 Fisher. Looks like they're gonna mark this ball at the Worth County 45 yard line. So great field position for the Hurricane. Height the line of scrimmage was the 22 and the ball did not get out of the Worth County territory. That's never a good sign on a punt. They will place it at the Worth County 45-yard uh, line. Fitzgerald moving it left to right. Uh, we we'll have our backs to the National Guard Armory. Our third possession of the ball game. Fitzgerald up eight to seven, and uh, 350 left in this first quarter. Bill, you're exactly right. I think I announced that it was seven all, but Fitzgerald did go for two that first time around. So it's eight seven Fitzgerald. And on first down, it's a direct snap to Pascal, and he takes it at right tackle, and a nice hole opens up, and Pascal's going to get down close to a hurricane first down. It looks like they will mark him just short. 
going to bring up second down in a yard. Hank, one more score in this ball game. We kind of recap that. That was Landon Worthy for Worth County. Hit Dante Fulton on a nine-yard touchdown uh, pass, and the point after was good. And, and uh, at that point, that was at 9.46 in that first quarter, and that's the score we are right now. Fitzgerald 8, Worth County 7. On second down, direct snap to Bill Boone. We've got a flag coming out. Boone got down close to a first down, only needed a yard. Uh, not much running room there, but a flag comes out. And let's see. Let's see, I don't know if this may be a face mask against Worth County or could it be a hold against Fitzgerald? We'll, we'll check this call. Not sure yet, uh, no official has indicated uh, the, the call. The flag came out right in the pile where all the tackling was going on. Let's check it. There's that face mask is. against Worth County. Yes, it is, and that will definitely give Fitzgerald a first down. They'll mark it off, and I believe this is just the five yard, and it is. So that'll be first and 10 Fitzgerald. The ball spotted at the Worth County 31 yard line after the five yard face mask penalty. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Fitzgerald eight, Worth County seven. I wanna make sure I get that score correct. I had called it out incorrectly earlier. And on first down, here's a direct snap. I believe that's Johnson, Cam Johnson on the carry and he's gonna go for about six. I think that's 19. Gonna bring up second down seven. Ball spotted right on the 25 yard line of Worth County. <clears throat> Antoine Doctor now in the backfield. Doctor and Brandon Brown are your backs in the backfield. We're in our heavy single wing package to the right side and with direct snap to doctor, but we've got whistles blowing. Let's check. I believe, yes, we've got Worth County in the neutral zone. So that will be five yards, and I'll give the Hurricanes another first down. The second down four, we'll certainly take the five and the first down. Dante Pascal on the night, uh, give him four carries, 33 yards. Uh, we've got a, several more guys carried the ball. Antoine Doctor, Bill Boone, uh, Brandon Brown and Cam Johnson. Uh, doctor with two carries and the rest of these guys, one carry. Uh, Bill Boone, one carry, two yards. Cam Johnson, uh, one carry for seven yards. Now it's Wilson Davis under center. He's gonna take the snap. He's gonna give to Boone a little wing back counter. Boone will pick up. Uh, he's gonna pick up about four, it looks like. Second down six for Fitzgerald. Hank, remind you of the Coldwell Banker Active Real Estate Halftime Kick. Uh, that'll be uh, going on uh, tonight at halftime. And uh, uh, Christine Howell, owner of Healing Touch Massage, uh, she will be uh, attempting that field goal kick for $100. Good luck to her tonight. On first down, Bill, I believe, and let's check this number. I think that may have been Tillman in the backfield taking the direct snap. Let's check. And it was, that was Calvin Tillman with the carry. And Tillman will pick up a hurricane first down. Carrying the ball down inside the 10, the ball spotted at the Worth County six yard line. Nice tough running Calvin Tillman. Don't see that a lot, Hank, no. but we like to see Calvin uh, with that ball in his hand. Calvin Tillman, 15 yard pickup for a first down. Yes, sir, and this is Brandon Brown, number eight. And what a, what a run by Brown, he's hit, but he runs through two or three tacklers. And Brown will take it in for the score. Touchdown, Fitzgerald. Six yard touchdown run. Nice, tough run. And Brandon Brown had a little bit of a hole and just lowered his shoulder and drove right into that end zone. And Fitzgerald scores with 50 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Bill, it seems like we're calling just a few names. Brandon Brown and uh, Calvin Tillman coming out of the backfield that we've not normally seen running that football. but. Certainly like uh, what they have done so far tonight. Well, Hank, I think in some of the games this year, I've charted as many as 12 running backs, yes. uh, and uh, we're well on our way to that. <laughs> Pasco, Dr. Boone, Brown, Johnson, Tillman, all with carries tonight. <laughs> yes, sir. That's sort of a trademark of uh, Coach Pruitt. He, he 
rotates those backs very freely. A low snap and a nice job there by Cowan to get that ball up on the tee and the kick by Cox is good. Nice job, Matthew Cowan. And with 50 seconds remaining, you score from JC Stadium. It's Fitzgerald 15 and Worth County 7. And we'll be right back. And once again, it's Cox with the high pooch kick. And this is outstanding coverage for Fitzgerald. The ball's fielded at about the 33-yard line, and we drop him almost immediately, maybe a return of one or two. But a nice job by the kick uh, kick off team for Fitzgerald. And Worth County will have it first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. Hank, uh, Brendan Brown, a seven-yard touchdown run. The point after good, a five-play, 45-yard drive. And Fitzgerald now leads in the contest by a score 15 to seven. Worth counting to the line of scrimmage. They're gonna give this thing to Chester. Right guard, we're trying to find him in there. We've got him and it looks like we'll bring him down. A nice job there by Fitzgerald. It's gonna be a gain of two, maybe three. And that was Kingston Smith with the tackle for Fitzgerald. Nice job by the sophomore. Gain of four, second down six. Bill, the running back, Chester, for Worth County, uh, not very big. He's a, a good little back, but sometimes you get lost behind that offensive line. Worthy now set to take the snap. He throws quickly to the left side. Just a short little stop route, and fits show once again. Billy, he ran right through a couple of tackles. We should have dropped him for a two or three yard gain, and he's going to get out close to a four, maybe a five yard gain. And uh, he's going to bring up a third down, I think, as it could be a first down based on the mark. We'll have to just check that. But we'll let you know about that as we come back. That was the last play of the first quarter, and your score from one after one from J.C. Stadium, Fitzgerald 15 and Worth County 7. Back to Paul in the station. to seven is your score. Thank you for joining us here on Radio 96.9 for Purple Hurricane Football. We know a lot of y'all are listening tonight uh, at home, and thank you for that. Hey, just about cool enough for a little fire tonight or, yes. uh, around. Maybe some folks got some fire in, uh, barrels going with their fire in it. Got a lot of Texas coming in. We'll try to get to those shout-outs. Area scores around. Just give us a few minutes, and we'll try to get caught up on some of that stuff. Yes, we will, and it's a beautiful night for football. And it was a first down. It was enough for the first down. So first and 10, Worth County to start this second quarter. They come out trip receiver to the right side, and we've got whistles. Let's see what we're not exactly sure. All right. 
I think they want to reset the reset the play clock. All right, I think they've got it reset. Now we're ready. Worthy shotgun formation. He, he gives to Chester. Chester at left guard, and he's gonna pick up two, maybe three. Bill, he's gonna stretch it out to four. Yep. Uh, he's a tough little back, uh, very quick, hard to get on the ground. And Worth County, they move quickly. Twin receivers now to the right side. Worthy shotgun formation. He's got a back to his right and left in the backfield. And once again, he's gonna give to Chester. Chester trying to get on the, on the corner on the left side. As he turns the corner, a couple of hurricanes there to meet him. And this time he'll be forced out of bounds close to midfield. Looks like he may have crossed midfield to the Hurricane 49 yard line. We'll check and see, but that's what it looks like. That's gonna bring up third down and about three now for the Rams. I've got Caden Chester with five carries for 18 yards so far on the night. Hope I hadn't, hope I hadn't missed one of those, but uh, that young man's uh, uh, you know, had a pretty good night so far. He's their leading carrier on, on their team. Yes, he's uh, he's been averaging about uh, almost 140 yards a game. So uh, there, he's a he's a fine running back. And on third down, now Worth County takes a snap. Worthy takes, drops straight back, trying to find somewhere to go with the football. Doesn't have anywhere to go, and turns goes back left and just throws it away. Had some pressure on him. Had a receiver in the area, but Worthy really just trying to get rid of that football to avoid the sack. And let's, that's gonna bring up fourth down, fourth down and three now. The ball spotted at the Hurricane 49 yard line. Hank, want to remind you if you're listening or in the, uh, in the stadium, the Lady Kane softball are selling dollar, $1 tickets for a chance to win $500. They'll be drawing that at halftime. Go down and get your ticket. Hopefully you'll uh, will be lucky enough to win that $500. Big fourth down, trying to get Fitzgerald to move. There was a little movement along that Fitzgerald front, but he did not get in the neutral zone. I've got an outstanding uh, view of this. Worthy now takes a snap. He throws quickly, a little go out down the left side. And the pass, I believe, was actually caught, but it's out of bounds. And Fitzgerald will hold and have outstanding field position. Nice job on that far side. I believe that was Antoine Doctor in coverage, and it was. A nice throw in, and the ball was complete. The pass was completed, but he was out of bounds in his first down Fitzgerald. Nice defensive stand there by John Gamble in his defense. Hey, right, while we've got a moment, I always wanting to keep our listeners informed. Uh, if you're a part of the class of 1986, uh, they'll be a, having a party out at Cherokee Rose after the homecoming football game uh, next Friday, October the 20th. Well, it's actually two weeks from tonight. Uh, if you're interested in that, please John, contact John Clements for more information. John's number is 424-5424. Again, John Kilmans, uh, contact him with information on the class of 1986. I'm familiar with those folks. On first down, it's a direct snap to Bill Boone. Bill sweeps left and he throws a pass to Cam Johnson. Jan Johnson down the sideline and he's hit hard. A nice lick delivered by Johnson. He's out of bounds, but it will be, I believe, a hurricane first down. Class of 86, that's my younger brother, Gil. It's his, his graduating class. They'll have a, a nice time at the party, I'm sure. First down now, 10. Ball at the Ram, 41 yard line, 10 yard completion. Boone to Johnson. Now Mazzilli in the ball game at that up back, full back position. This will be a direct snap to Pascal. Pascal's gonna take the snap. He's gonna follow Mazzilli at left tackle. Nice little hole there following Mazzilli, and it's going to be another, we'll check his spot, but this could be another Hurricane first down. It's just going to depend on the mark, and it will be. First and 10, Fitzgerald. Two plays and two first downs. Let me catch up on a couple of shout outs. I want to say hello to Gene Mobley, uh, listening up in Powder Springs tonight. Uh, Billy McKeachin and Loretta, they're listening tonight as well. And also, I uh, want to say, Hello uh, to Denise Jordan, uh, always pulling for the Canes on these Friday nights. Thank you, Denise, for listening. First and 10, Fitzgerald. And again, Bill Boone takes a direct snap. He gives to Pascal. Pascal comes back left, finds some more running room. A nice job by that Fitzgerald offensive line tonight. And this is going to be another Hurricane first down. A gain of 11 down to the 20-yard line for Pascal. 
Phil, I like this. Three plays on this drive and three first yep. downs. A listener way away, Hank. Uh, Justin and Elena listening up in Indiana. Uh, thank you all for listening. And a uh, uh, lot of folks listening tonight. Thank you again. And uh, Jimmy and Alicia Davis, uh, faithful listeners on Friday night, listening out around the river. Yeah, I've got Scott McCraney listening to us tonight. Scott, hope you're enjoying the broadcast. And on first down, this is going to be a direct snap. And I believe this is Johnson. It is Cam Johnson. He comes left, trying to get the corner. Never could quite get there. They force him out of bounds. It's going to be a gain of about four, maybe five for Johnson. Bill, I've got a few more shout-outs here. I've got Steve-O Smith said he's sitting on the back porch listening to the Canes as always. Go Kane. Andy Alexander, he said Wrangler said we're sounding good tonight, Bill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tim and Sandy Woods, uh, man, been listening for years and years. And, uh, Tim, hope you felt well this week. On second down, second down and six. is direct snap to Brandon Brown at right tackle, trying to weave his way and find a little bit of running room. Uh, not much there. He'll cross the 15 down to about the 14, and this is going to bring up a third down, and we'll call it four for our Hurricanes. 15 to seven is your score. Fitzgerald over Worth County. Still nine minutes left in this second quarter. The Purple Hurricanes, they're moving it right to left uh, now, and... Uh, if you're familiar with old J.C. Stadium, they're looking right at the National Guard Armory on this drive. Yes, sir. we got Roderick Bonner listening to us from out in Austin, Texas, as always. And on third down, trying to find some way to go with this football. And uh, a lot of confusion. We roll right. Uh, not, not much there. And they got... Uh, uh, that was an unusual play. We, we lost big yardage. I know that. <laughs> Who had the well, ball? Yes, uh, That's it, the, he's coming off. It ended up with... Um, uh, Davis was tackled with the football. Rolling run right, right. Okay. Just, no, just nowhere to go, and the ball sort of got jostled around, but this is going to bring up a fourth down and about 15, a big loss, loss of about 10 or 11 on the play. And uh, we've got Cox out to try a 42-yard field goal. Let's see what kind of leg Mr. Cox has. And this is plenty of leg on this one. Plenty of leg on this one, and right down the middle. What a job for Cox. 8-19 remaining in this second quarter, and a big 42-yard field goal. That is Griffin Cox, the sophomore. What a job, and your Kings now lead 18-7. What a job there, Bill. What a kick by Griffin Cox. Well, Hank, it was perfectly placed in the middle of the field. That's a that's a good start, and then a good snap, and a good hole, and Griffin Cox. Uh, Hank, I, that thing I said, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yes, it did. Yes. Cross that crossbar and a 42-yard field goal uh, for Griffin Cox. Congratulations to him. And your Purple Hurricanes now lead 18-7. to seven. Yes, they do. I've got just a few more shout-outs here, Bill. Uh, I mentioned Roderick Bonner. He listens every week from Austin, Texas. Uh, the Chamber Girls are listening, and we've got, uh, let's see who all we have here. We've got uh, Gage Griner, Ashlyn Griner, Thomas Howell, and J.C. Uh, J.C. Pridgen listening to us tonight and an old hurricane teammate of mine from way back in the day mr sam Garland and his That's new correct. bride janie said they're listening tonight congratulations sam and janie i heard that news earlier today and uh, we're very happy for you and i'm uh, glad you're listening to the ball game tonight also ken thames and kevin williams uh two listeners uh to purple hurricane football glad to see that and uh hank let's go back to that 42 yard field goal by Woo! griffin cox uh what a job man a nice job there certainly was a young sophomore uh, sort of took over the uh, point after and field goal duties here just a couple of weeks ago and uh hey he taking charge you may go uh, kicks like that and he'll stay right there where you are and here's cox with the high pooch kicks gonna be fielded at about the 30 yard line He's hit hard just across the 35. That was Kingston Smith with the tackle for Fitzgerald. Forced out of bounds at about the 38-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 Rams at their own 38. We don't get to talk about scoring drives and field goals, but Griffin Cox, a 42-yard field goal. And, Hank, I'll let you figure out the length of that drive. But this in-game scoring summer, that 42-yard field goal by Griffin Cox, is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner-agent of Coldwell Bankers Active Real Estate. And their business is located at 125 South Main Street in downtown Fitzgerald. And their phone number, 229-423-SOLD. That's 229-423-7653. Yes, sir. And 
Bill, it looks like we started that drive at the 49 and drove down to the 25 before we had to kick that field goal. So it was a nice job there by Cox. On first down, a little swing route to Chester, right side, uh, well defended by Fitzgerald. Three or four Hurricanes there, led by Anthony Lewis. The pass will be complete, but uh, will not be much of a gain. Maybe a yard, maybe a half yard, not much there. Second down now, and we'll just call it 10 for the Rams. Eight minutes now remaining in this first half. Fitzgerald with an eight-point lead. Twin receivers left, single receiver to the right side. We've got to give to Chester, but we've got whistles blowing, and we're going to have a procedure call against the Rams, a little motion there, and that's going to back them up five. Hank, I got a good friend, Edward Thompson. He's listening tonight. Thank you, Edward, for being a part of the broadcast and listening out also Don and Betty Norris and Eric Boggess listening up in Cox County. I just saw that from Eric. Another, another old school mate of mine. And on second down and 15, this pass is complete. A nice throw worthy, and I believe that was number one, Bill. And if I can, let me check and see. Yes, I think it is. That was Jackson with the reception. It's going to be a gain of about nine, maybe 10. Let's give him 10 on the third down and five for the Rams. The ball at their own 41 yard line. 7.37 left here in the quarter. Fitzgerald 18, Worth County seven. Trip receivers now to the left side for Worth County. They're gonna bring receiver in motion right. Worthy takes the snap, drops straight back. He throws quickly. He's got a receiver, the outside receiver on a little slant route. The ball was right there, but a nice job. That is Jay Alexander. He was there uh, about the same time the football was, Bill, and Alexander jars that ball loose, and it's going to bring up fourth down now for the Rams. Hank, I feel pretty good with my, my young grandson, 16-year-old, uh, Bryson Scott, he's having yes. trouble with these numbers too. When one of the breaks a minute ago, he, 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 he <laughs> talked to I took my headsets off and he said, man, these numbers are almost impossible <laughs> to see. And I said, yes, that made me feel better, Bill. <laughs> fourth down now, fourth down and five for the Rams. Twin receiver to the right side, single receiver split wide to the left. The ball is on the right hash and the receiver's way over on the numbers on that left side. And we've got movement. I think the Rams may have been trying to get us to move a little bit with that hard count, and their right tackle jumps off sides, and that's going to back them up five, and the punt unit may come out. Now it's going to bring up a fourth down and close to ten, and it looks like it will be a punting situation for the Rams. Hey, the Rams, six penalties for 27 yards, and I know that sounds a little odd, but remember they had that half the distance penalty yes. down at that uh, inside, the well, at the three-yard line on the point after. Uh, so that's a 27-yard of penalties on six for the Rams. And, Hank, uh, they're going to have to punt the football. Their line of scrimmage for the Rams is their 36-yard line. They'll be punting it left to right. Uh, no one back for Fitzgerald uh, as we are looking for the punt here from Worth County. And there's we've another got, penalty. We've got whistles again. Is this a delay of game? It is. Delay of game. Play clock has gone down to zero, so this is back them up five more yards. going to bring up a fourth down nine, 15. Uh, the Rams keep going in the wrong direction. Ball is now spotted at their own 31-yard line. I can remind you to stay tuned at halftime as we'll be announcing the teacher of the year for the Ben Hill County School Systems. The yes. Ben Hill uh, pre-K representative is Carolyn Tucker. The Ben Hill primary representative is Dee Dee Brady. The Ben Hill elementary representative is Stephanie Harris. And congratulations to the Ben Hill middle school representative, that's Karen Kelly. And the Fitzgerald High School College and Career County representative tonight is Mr. John Haddon. Yes. So uh, we're looking forward to announcing the district winner tonight, so stay tuned for that at halftime. And uh, Hank, I think we've got things ready to go back on the field. I think we do. Fourth down now. Well, uh, Bill, they've uh, evidently they must reset the play clock and they did not mark off that last five yard call against the Rams. So it was actually fourth and 10. 
and nobody back for fish on the punt, and it will finally roll dead inside the Hurricane 30, and the Fitzgerald will start at first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. That's the second punt for Worth County. The first one, if you remember, was a pretty short one, only 20 yards. That and roll 36 yards. It did cross midfield, and that punt, uh, the line of scrimmage for Fitzgerald now will be at our own 30-yard line. 7.04 left in the quarter. Fitzgerald up 18-7 to here at J.C. Stadium, a region matchup, Fitzgerald and Worth County. Hank, so far so good. I like the way our Purple Hurricanes look. I do too, Bill. We've uh, moved the ball well, and, and really other than the first, the driver of the night, Fort Worth County, our defense has held up pretty well. Had a few missed tackles during that first drive. We seem to have cleaned that up. And out comes Fisher. They've got twin stacked receivers uh, left. And that's Pascal, and I believe that is Johnson, Cam Johnson in the backfield. And it is. That's a direct snap to Johnson at right tackle. Not much there. He'll go for a couple, maybe three. Clock running. 6.45 remaining in this first half. Fitzgerald 18 and Worth County 7. Now Bill Boone checks into the ball game for the Hurricane. We've got Johnson, Calvin Tillman split wide left. Second down 7. Now we're going to motion it back out of the back for this. Boone going to take the snap. Little pump fake left, keeps it himself, and he's going to go for a first down. Nice tough running there by Boone. It'll be a hurricane first down, and he'll get out close to the Worth County 45-yard line, first and 10 Fitzgerald. Another nice job, Bill, by that official offensive line. We're starting to open up some holes up there. Yes, we are, Hank, and we're creeping the ball up near midfield. Plenty of time in this quarter, 623. That's the first down for Fitzgerald. That's our tenth of the ball game. And now we've advanced it up to Fitzgerald 45. We like the score here, Fitzgerald 18, Worth County 7. Single receiver Tillman now split wide right. Looks like Wilson Davis under center. He's got Pascal in the backfield. He's going to fake the counter and run a little bootleg. Had some pressure on him, just getting rid of the football. He throws it at the foot of his receiver. I believe that was zero. Westbrook was the intended receiver. Davis faked a little sweep to the to his left and bootleg back right, trying to catch uh, the, the Rams off guard, but uh, had had a lot of pressure in his face and pretty good coverage on Westbrook by the Rams with the incomplete pass at second down 10 for Fitzgerald. Hey, we got all the Petries listening tonight. That's Rita, Kurt, Allen, Addie, Grace, Jace, Kendall, and Emma. Thank you for listening. The Petries listening tonight to Purple Hurricane football. 18 to seven is your score. Direct snap to Antoine Doctor. Now Doctor's moved pretty well, Bill. Doctor's got some speed around the right end and he's going to get close to a first down bill I, I, they caught him by by his foot i thought he may go and they sort of caught him by his foot and dragged him down and it'll be a first down pitch shell gain of about 11 for doctor a nice job of blocking out on that right corner yep i like the looks of that hank and look where that ball is it's back in worth county territory at their 44 yard line yes it 5 is. 30 left in this quarter i've got a few more shout outs i'll get to them after this Next play, first and 10 Fitzgerald. Again, it's Davis now under center. Pascal in the backfield. We're going to give this thing to Pascal on a quick hitter at right guard. Pascal will take it down across the 40 out to the down to the 38. A nice job, six yard gain now uh, for Pascal. Want to say hello to Gene and Lydia Mason listening tonight to Purple Hurricane football. And uh, I think I've got a few more to go here, so uh, I'm sure you do too on some shout outs. Yes, I've got uh, Tyler and Logan Clemens listening to us tonight. Also, Johnny and McKinsley Crowley listening as well. Hope you all enjoying the broadcast. On second down and four, we've got a timeout. I think the head coach, Coach Hammonds, for the Rams, didn't like what he saw, and he calls a timeout. So with 4.40 remaining in this first quarter, Fitzgerald up by 11, and we'll be back right after this. Got it. Can I squeeze one? 
Oh yeah. And on second down, second down and four, we've got a direct snap. That's Tillman, but let's check it. We got whistles coming out. And we've got a procedure call against the Hurricanes. That's gonna back us up nine. We'll go from second down four now to second down and nine uh, after the five yard penalty. That was direct snap to Calvin Tillman. Bell, I, uh, looks like we may start seeing him a little bit more in the backfield. Well, that's good, and there he yes, is kind of lining up there. It looks it? like he may get it again. I'm, anytime Calvin's got the ball in his hands, it's generally a pretty good deal. For Tell us. Him. Yes, it is. And it's another direct snap to Tillman, trying to find some running room. We've got another flag coming out. Tillman up the middle, running hard. He's going to pick up four or five before he's hit hard and stacked up and driven back. But let's check this call. It may be a hold against the hurricane. And it is. It's gonna be a hold against the hurricane. When that, when that flag came out, Bill, I thought we were in big trouble there. Now we're gonna go, we had it second and four. Then it was second and nine. And Bill, now it looks like it's gonna be about second and 19. Well, Hank, uh, still got some time here, 416 in the quarter. And now the ball is back in Fitzgerald territory at I-47. We did have it over the midfield stripe, but Worth County, uh, or actually we've backed it up on a penalty or two of our own. 11 first downs for Fitzgerald in this first half. Uh, Hank, only 30 yards penalty, so not too bad on the penalty side for Fitzgerald tonight. Uh, so uh, pretty well played game so far for the Kings. Second down 19, direct snap to Cam Johnson. He's coming left, trying to find some running room. Got a nice block by Pascal, but uh, several Ram defenders there. Be a short game, give him about three. And it's gonna bring up third down and long now. Third down and about 15. Let's give him four on the carry. Third down 15 now for Fitzgerald. The ball resting at midfield. Clock running, three and a half minutes remain in the ball game. Fitzgerald 18, Worth County seven. Twin receivers break the huddle right for Fitzgerald. Single receiver to the left side. We've got Wilson Davis, shotgun formation. Pascal to his left, now he's gonna motion Pascal right. Davis takes, rolls right, steps up. He's got a receiver open and that's a high throw. We had Calvin Tillman open. He would have been two or three yards short of a first down, uh, a little deep out route, but the uh, ball is overthrown. And that will bring up a fourth down and 15 for the Hurricane and out come the punt unit, Bill. I need to say hello to Vivian Pittman and Valerie Wilcox. Uh, these two ladies are working hard for Cinderella's and they're the ladies that help keep our field house clean all during the week. Girls, thank you for your hard work and also want to say hello to Miss Shirley Coxon. She's a faithful listener on Friday night to Purple Hurricane football. A nice snap. And here's the kick, and it actually hits a Ram defender in the back. We're going to get on this football. It's going to be Fitzgerald football. Rams had a blocker going down, blocking one of our gunners on the far right side, and the punt hit him square in the back and bounced back about five yards, and the Hurricane was right there to pounce on top of it, Bill. And what a break for Fitzgerald. Well, Hank, that's just a turnover and a fumble, and we get the ball back to what that is. Yes, I mean, and just uh, a, just a very fortunate break. The young man for Worth County never saw the football. It was a low line drive of a kick and hit him right in the back, and Fitzgerald has it first and 10 at the Ram 24-yard line. Was a 30-yard punt. It back, bounced back just a little bit, but uh, we appreciate that turnover, and Fitzgerald takes back over. Still some time here, 2.52 left in the second quarter. Davis, shotgun formation, woo! 
uh, and whistles are blowing, and Bill, that snap was about ankle high. I believe we got lucky again with Worth County calling a timeout. That was a, a, a bad snap, but uh, anyway, we've got a timeout on the field, so once again, Paul, we'll take it back to you. All right, welcome back. And on first down, we've got Davis shotgun formation. He's going to take and throw. We've got a double pass. Look at him, another little bit of trickery. Oh, my goodness, I think we dropped it, Bill. Did we, did he, are they going to give him the catch or they call it a drop? Don't know yet. Let's see what they call it. Now, I think they're going to say he dropped that football. <laughs> it was a double pass. Yes, it touchdown. was. Wilson Davis to Antoine Doctor. Doctor took it and threw, and I believe that was was that Burris? They're still checking to see with the officials, see if anyone else actually saw it. Did he have it long enough for a touchdown? I think we may have a flag down here okay. on, this, on the sideline too, Bill. I, I believe he dropped that football. He, he had it for just a second, and as he was hit, it, it came loose in the end zone. I mean, he was all alone for a while. A league of participation, uh, Hank, did we have 12 men on the field? I think we might have had a... I think we may have had uh, some illegal substitution. Now, I think we had some linemen downfield, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But anyway, the penalty will go against Fitzgerald. Burris was open, and it was a high floater of a throw to give the, the defender time to get back. It was a pretty thing. It just didn't quite work. It just didn't quite work. And, and uh, Burris caught that football, and as he was coming down with it, uh, he was hit, and it pops loose, but the penalty wipes it out anyway. I think Burris kind of mishandled one uh, a week or so ago. Hank had a chance for a yes. touchdown, if I remember. Number 80. He did. He'll get better. He's just a sophomore. Just a sophomore. I think it's only a second game starting. Second down now, 15 for Fitzgerald. Davis under center. Going to throw a fade route to Calvin Tillman. Nice play defensively by the Rams. Defender in lockstep with Tillman. He knocks that ball away, and it's going to bring up third down now and 15 for Fitzgerald couple of more shout outs. I've got um, Wyman Martin listening to us tonight. Wyman's always uh, a faithful listener. I also have my old buddy Wes Walters listening to us from down in Irwin County. Wes, I heard y'all are off tonight. We certainly wish y'all the best of luck moving forward. Thank you for listening tonight. I've got a score from Daniel Calhoun. Daniel says Toombs County 17 and Applin County 7. That's a surprise there, Bill. Yes, it is. Third down 15. <laughs> They're going to snap this ball to Bill Boone. Bill throws a swing pass to Brandon Brown. For Bill, for just a second, I thought he had it. And uh, they, they catch him by his foot. It's going to be a completion across the 20-yard line. It's going to bring up a fourth down situation. It looks like we may be sending out the field goal unit once again, Bill. Well, Hank, he picked up level on the play. One more step, and he, I think he would have gotten to the first yes. down mark. Now, this field goal attempt is going to be for 35 yards. We just made a 42-yarder just a few minutes ago. Little different angle this time, though. This this kick will be attempted from the left hash mark, a little different angle. Let's see what we can do with this one. Griffin Cox has it lined up. 35-yard attempt. Snap is good. The hold is good, and the kick is up. Let's see. It's going to be close, and it is good. Yes, it is. He squeezes it in on the right side. And a nice job, Griffin Cox. And with 144, Remaining in this first half, your score now, Fitzgerald 21 and Worth County 7. You're listening to Hurricane Football on WRDO 96.9, and we'll be right back.
And we're back. It's another high pooch kick by Cox. It's going to be fielded at about the 31. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> we, we, we've got a face mask on the uh, on the uh, on the play. Uh, ball was fielded at about the 31, maybe the 32 yard line. We had excellent coverage and uh, driving out of bounds and just an inadvertent hand across the face mask and two uh, two fall will be. And it is. It's going to be a face mask against the hurricane. I think it's only the five yard version, but we will see. Well, let's see, Hank. I think it's going to be the. That is the five. Yes. Okay. Five yard. So Worth County will have it first and 10 at their own 41 yard line. A minute 41 remaining in this first half. Fitzgerald now with the two touchdown lead. Twin receivers left, single receiver to the right side. Worthy and Chester in the backfield. Worthy's looking for Chester in a little wheel route out of the backfield. Had him open at about the Fitzgerald 40 yard line and one of the few bad throws we've seen tonight from Worthy. Bill, uh, Worthy had some room there and uh, Worthy, uh, excuse me, Chester had some room. Worthy just missed him. For the second time tonight, Griffin Cox with another field goal. This one was 35 yards at Fitzgerald Lee, 21 to 7. And this in game scoring summary is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner, agent of Coldwell Banker Active Real Estate, located at 125 South Main Street in Fitzgerald. And their phone number, 423 sold, 423 7653. Second down, Worthy drops back, and Hurricane got some serious pressure on him this time, and he's trying to get away. Throws the football, had a receiver open, but just could not get anything on the throw to get it out there. That was great pressure, and I believe that was Randy Givens. Was that number three, Bill? I don't know, Hank, but is there a flag on the play? I see some officials. Yes, we do yeah. have a flag at the 40-yard line. We're gonna have we a got a hold against Fitzgerald. Yes, we do, Bill. I did not see the flag. And that'll be a nice. It was third and ten. Yes. And a hold. Probably will be a first down for Worth County. A hold in the defensive backfield for Fitzgerald. Yes, it was. They're going to march it off. First down. Rams the ball now at the Hurricane 49 yard line after the penalty. 126 remaining in this first half. Worthy drops back. He's got a receiver on the left side, goes up high for the reception. Nice coverage from Fitzgerald. That was eight with the number eight. And that is Fulton. On the reception, it's another first down for the Rams. We've got another flag down, and this pass also completed a little out route worthy to full quickly. And it is, it's going to be a hold against the Rams. That wipes out another what would have been a first down for the Rams down inside the Hurricane 30 yard line. And Hank, as quick as that ball was snapped, thrown, and caught, really what he need for a hold. No, uh, it no, happened sir. so quick. Uh, no, so, uh, exactly right. You are exactly right, but that's going to back them up. And it's a, a spot foul, so it's going to back them up 10 yards from the spot of the foul, and it's going to be uh, second, uh, excuse me, first down at 20. Fort Worth County, twin receivers left, one to the right. Where he takes drop straight back. We've got some pressure on him. He's trying to get the ball down. He's got a receiver running wide open, and this is going to be a touchdown. Yes, it is. What a throw by Worthy. Had pressure on him, avoids the pressure, steps up in the pocket, and a long throw down the left sideline. We had just uh, lost someone in coverage, and he was all alone at about the 10-yard line. Hits him in stride, and it's a score. Uh, our safety did hit him uh, at the goal line, but uh, he was able to go on in, and, and we give up a, a late one. Was that Chester Hank on that reception, or we got to check with somebody on that? We're going to have to check with somebody on that one, Bill. I could not see the number on that one. But with 57 seconds left, Worth County has scored, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. And so with 57 seconds remaining in first half, it's still 21, Worth County 14. 
And once again, we'll go back to Paul. Welcome back to JC Stadium. It's another high pooch kick. And that looks like Tillman on the far sideline. I'm going to take it at the 25. Uh, it's going to be a short return. He'll take it up across the 30, out to about the 33, and it'll be first and 10 Fitzgerald at their own 33 yard line. Bill uh, really gave up a, a quick one there. Surprised me a little bit. And yep. uh, a nice job by Worthy, the quarterback, we had great pressure on him, and uh, he avoids the rush, steps up, and made a very nice throw. And uh, between the three of us in this booth and the, and the PA and, guy and, 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 and his spotter, yeah. nobody caught the number of who caught that ball. Well, and, it uh, but it changes the whole ball game, Hank. We're up 21 yes. to 7. That's 21 to 14. Yes, and it's it 50 does. seconds to go. We know it was a 46-yard touchdown pass. We knew Landon Worthy threw the ball. And uh, great throw and catch. And uh, now Fitzgerald only trailing by 7 with 50 seconds left in this quarter. And on first down is Davis. He's going to give. And I think that may be. Is that? I think that's Westbrook. I believe that's Westbrook. It is. That's number zero. That's Westbrook with the carry. Little counter coming left, and he'll cross the 35 out to the 36. Gain of three. I think Coach Pruitt may be content just to let this clock run out and take this seven-point lead into the half. 19 seconds on the clock and counting. And the play clock is off. We can let the we can let the clock run out <laughs> if we choose. And that's what we're going to do. So with uh, halftime upon us here at JC Stadium, Fitzgerald with the seven-point lead, Worth County with a late 46-yard touchdown pass to go within one score, and a, I think a little bit of a stunned of Fitzgerald defense and Fitzgerald crowd. But uh, your score is Fitzgerald 21. Worth County 14, and please join us back. We'll be here with the Landscape Unlimited Halftime Show. Bill will have all your highlights and stats and scoring summaries, and we'll also have the results from the Teacher of the Year presentation that will uh, begin here in uh, just a few minutes. So uh, you stay tuned for all of that.
think uh, we've moved quickly into the teacher of the year, and if you would, let's uh, let's uh, let our listeners know who are, who is out on the field, and congratulations to all five of those that are representing each school. Superintendent Don Clements is presenting each teacher of the year from uh, each individual school a plaque uh, recognizing them as their school's teacher of the year. The representatives from each school tonight are from the Ben Hill Pre-K is Carolyn Tucker. From the Ben Hill Primary School, it's Dee Dee Braddy. From Ben Hill Elementary School, it's Stephanie Harris. Ben Hill Middle School, the representative is Karen Kelly. And at the Fitzgerald High School, the Fitzgerald High School College and Career Academy, your selection is John Haddon. And so each individual teacher has been recognized for their Teacher of the Year Award from the individual schools. And now Ms. Clements will award the system-wide Teacher of the Year. We're waiting on Ms. Clements. And the winner is John Haddon from the Fitzgerald High School College and Career Academy. Congratulations, Mr. John Haddon. He is the system-wide teacher of the year for uh, uh, 2023-24. Hank, once again, let's name uh, the participants, those that uh, were honored to represent their schools, each school represented, and those names one more time, if you would. From the Ben Hill Pre-K, it is Carolyn Tucker. From the Ben Hill Primary School, it was Dee Dee Braddy. From Ben Hill Elementary School, Stephanie Harris. Ben Hill Middle School was Karen Kelly. And the Fitzgerald High School College and Career Academy and the system-wide Teacher of the Year, is Mr. John Haddon. Okay, back to the station for this time out. You listen to Purple Hurricane Football on Radio 96.9. A lot more to go. Stay with us. Well, uh, Fitzgerald was uh, kind of feeling good about this thing. We were ahead 21-7 to uh, as we were winding down that second quarter, and all of a sudden, uh, Worth County uh, got a got a good good easy touchdown on us, and they've pulled the score to within seven. It's Fitzgerald 21, Worth County 7. I felt real good about the team. I thought we'd come out in this next quarter, maybe put another score on the board, and that would kind of be the game. But, hey, out of board to Worth County, they've come back, uh, made this a, a real contest, only trailing by seven here in this first quarter. I want to thank the folks at Landscape Unlimited for sponsoring the halftime show. Let's take a look at some scoring summers. I know you've been listening and you're interested in them. Fitzgerald's Calvin Tillman got started with
with 11.48 in that first quarter. He, when he hit Antoine Doctor on a 58-yard touchdown run, it was the first play of the ball game. And, of course, after a Worth County penalty, Fitzgerald elected to go for two points, and all of a sudden, early in the ball game, after that first <coughs> that first uh, first play, Fitzgerald was up eight to nothing. Here came Worth County back, though, with 948, the Landon Worthy to Dante Fulton, a nine-yard touchdown uh, pass. Uh, that point after was good. It was an eight-play, 58-yard drive, a nice play for the Rams. Again, eight plays, 58 yards, and with 941 in that first quarter, uh, Worth County had to pull to within one. It was Fitzgerald eight, Worth County seven. Fitzgerald's Brendan Brown uh, with 50 seconds left in the first quarter scores on a seven-yard touchdown run. The point after was good. It was a five-play 50, uh, excuse me, a five-play 45-yard drive. And as the first quarter ended, Fitzgerald was up 15 to seven and feeling pretty good about ourselves. Okay, Griffin Cox for Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes added three points to our score when he hit on a 42 yard field goal with 819 left in that second quarter and Fitzgerald went up by a score of 18 to seven. Fitzgerald again pulling away at this point. Griffin Cox again, the young man came back out with 144 in the second quarter and he hit again on a 35 yard field goal. That first field goal of 42 yards had the ball lined up right in the center of the field. The second attempt of the field goal, a little tougher as it was on the left hash marks, but he put it right through the uprights, right over the crossbars, a 35-yard field goal. So Griffin Cox, two field goals in that second quarter, one at 819 and another at 144. And after those two field goals, Fitzgerald was up 21 to seven. We thought that would probably be the halftime score in less than a minute left in that second quarter. Uh, Landon Worthy for the Rams uh, through a 46-yard touchdown pass. And be honest with you, we're not sure who caught the ball. We asked our PA guy up here. He was not sure. Uh, Bryson Scott, my 16-year-old grandson sitting right here, he's trying to help us spot some. He was not able to see it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we'll get word of who caught that touchdown pass. But a nice pass and throw and catch by Worth County. And uh, they put seven on the board with 57 seconds to go. That point after was good. And that's where we are standing here at halftime. It's Fitzgerald 21, Worth County 14. More to come on the Landscape Unlimited Halftime Show. Paul, back to you for this timeout. We're just continuing on with some more stats here. Thank you for listening tonight. I know there's a good many more shout-outs left uh, on our on our uh, phones, and we'll get to them in just a minute. But if you're looking at some team stats, of course, the first team stat is uh, Fitzgerald leads the ball game by a score of 21 to 14. 
and uh, some individual stats uh, are coming up. But first, some team stats. Fitzgerald with 225 total yards, had 81 yards passing, 143 rushing, attempted eight passes, completed four. Uh, no interceptions thrown, no fumbles for Fitzgerald. Only one punt, it went for 30 yards and six penalties for 50 yards for your Purple Hurricanes. Again, 143 yards rushing, 11 first downs, and 81 yard passing. So Fitzgerald's total yards in that first half, 224. Looking at the Worth County side, they had five first downs, 123 yards rushing, uh, excuse me, 123 yards passing, 18 yards rushing, give them a total of of uh, what is that 147 I believe it is for the night so far they attempted 18 passes completed 11 they did have one uh, turnover it was on that mishandled punt and uh, they did have two punts for 25 yards and eight penalties for 42 yards for uh, the Worth County Rams some individual stats uh, we've got uh, Caden Chester on the night five carries for 18 yards for the Rams on the Fitzgerald side, DeAndre Pasco, we've called his name a lot. Seven to carry, 61 yards so far tonight. Antoine Doctor, three carries for 27 yards. Bill Boone, three carries, 18 yards. Brendan Brown, three carries, 11 yards. Cam Johnson, four carries, 18 yards. Calvin Tillman, give him one carry for 15 yards. Uh, and a couple of other guys carrying the ball as well uh, for the Fitzgerald Purple Hurricane. So, uh, uh, penalties on the night, Fitzgerald six penalties for 50 yards, and uh, Hank, uh, that late second quarter uh, touchdown by Worth County, I think really changed the ball game. I think Coach Pruitt uh, maybe was going in with a, uh, with a feeling pretty good, but I, I'm not so sure uh, uh, he's feeling all that well now. We, we really gave up an easy touchdown there. We certainly did, Bill. Uh, just sort of took the momentum away from us. I thought we had uh, all the momentum going into halftime and, uh, you know, just a a bust in coverage. I think maybe our defensive back thought we were going to make the make right. the play on the sack and and uh, give give Worthy a pat on the back. I mean, he made the uh, play and aborted the sack and and then of course made the great throw. So uh, you know, congratulations to them. But yes, I agree completely. It just took sort of the wind out of our sails. Yeah. Uh, before, before uh, right here before halftime, you know, scoring less than a minute to go in the, in the first half. Hank, when we come back, we're going to do the Coldwell Bankers Active Real Estate Halftime Kick. How Wiley and Hank Bradley will bring that to you. Stay tuned for that. Uh, work, works up there at the refinery. She, okay, she she's soccer style. Oh, she is. Look at here. Left footed, soccer style. Christine Howell. Who's she kicking for? I don't know who she's kicking for, but tonight's kicker is Christine Howell, Howell, owner of Healing Touch Massage, and she's been chosen. She's chosen the Christian Kitchen. Christian Kitchen as okay. a charity. She'll receive if she makes it. She'll get a hundred dollars. In addition to the kick, she'll receive a hundred dollars. If she misses, a hundred dollars will go to the Booster Club. So I'm sort of torn, Mitch. Yes. Uh, uh, Hank. I, I, I like right. Christine. I think Go I wanted to make it. I think she's going to make it. Look at here. Boop. Boop. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. nah. Just close. 
Right. No, it wasn't. It was close. <laughs> it wasn't close at all. Lack that was sustain. much similar to one I did several years ago. I wasn't going to bring that up. <laughs> hey, except she was left footed. Yours went the other way. Mine went okay. to the right. Hers went to the left. Hey, but that doesn't, <laughs> hey, but that doesn't <laughs> change the fact Christine's a fine yeah. uh, community member yes, and a is. good good uh, business owner here in town. And uh, yes. she's uh, Healing Touch Massage. And uh, I guess the Booster Club's going to get $100. Yes, well, good, good for her for getting out there and trying. And Christine came up a little bit short. But, uh, you know, we'll try it again in a couple of weeks That's when we right. have another home game. That's right. And thank you, uh, the Caldwell Banker Active Real Estate Associate Broker Blake Marshall was out there with Christine. And uh, thank him for their sponsorship and putting that together. And if you cipher it all out, the Booster Club gets a little money. Money every year <laughs> yes, they from do. Uh, Active Real Estate, yes, and, they do. and we really, really appreciate that. Yes, I think do. they might donate a little bit, no matter what <laughs> what happens. I think they do. You got to make some rules do. for the contest, but uh, that's right. They they do a good job, and they're good sponsors. Hank, it's uh 21 to 14. I was I was going downstairs using the restroom earlier. Was with Lawton Tinley, and I got the analysis. Yes. We letting them hang around too long. Yes. Right, I, fans. I, as it happens, I ran into Lawton as well. Yes. I got the same analysis. Yep, yep. We, we got us. We got team. He gave Had me all razor. the stats on how many young players they got, and we better get them this year because they are gonna be good. <laughs> yes. They're good right now. Yes, they are. Uh, but uh, we've got to we got to put things away. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Coach Gamble was a little disappointed uh, with that, uh, that that the easy score. I mean, it was just a three play drive. Uh, you know, took less than a minute, to, and they, 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 they score right before the yep. half. Uh, not what we were looking for, but still we have the seven-point lead, and uh, we will be kicking to the Rams to start this second half, so our defense will need to come out and see if we can't get them a three and out, get a quick punt, yep. and uh, get that football back, and let's stretch that lead back out give us a little bit of breathing room. That's exactly what we need to do, but uh, I want to comment uh, uh, about, uh, is, it, is it Griffin? Is Griffin's yes. the kicker. Yes. How, how, what a game he's having Man. so far. Uh, without Griffin Cox, this thing would be a lot Woo. closer. What is that, a 42 and a 35? Yes, sir. That's uh, yes, sir. that's big. And, uh, boy, he was excited when he, he hit I, those. I know he was. It was a nice job. And he's, uh, you know, I was telling Bill, you know, we, we, we have found us a kicker. And it's always nice to have a nice dependable kicker. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it is. It's nice to have a very a very dependable kicker, and, and uh, I think we found one with Griffin Cox. And, uh, you know, it looks like from about 40 yards, maybe 45 on in, yep. he, uh, uh, he's going to be uh, something special for us. That, that 42 yarder, I told Bill, I said it would have been good from at least yeah. 43 or 44. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're exactly right. But I he, probably had, he probably had another four or five yards yeah. uh, on that thing. And uh, But it was what I liked the best about it, it was right down. Down the middle. Yes, yes. He, you, you got to get Never that. Doubt. You got to get your towards right yes, first, yeah. hey, and then right you work off, on the distance. Right off his foot, it, you could tell he had the, he had the uh, tordance on it. It was just yep. a matter of distance, and uh, it went right through. So congratulations to Griffin. I know he's excited, and who knows how we may need may another need kick or two yep. for him this second half. Yep. Well, it's 21-14 at the half. Fitzgerald over Worth County, big region matchup. Fitzgerald's one and zero in the region, looking to go two and zero. So. Uh, we need to uh, we need to have a good half right here, um, Hank. Let's take it back to the stadium uh, to, to the station, and uh, we'll come back uh, with the second half action. Stay tuned. All right, I got it. You want to close out the halftime show? Yes, please. Right. Folks been enjoying the the music. I see them turning around, giving you the thumbs up.
and we're back to JC Stadium. We're just about uh, a couple of minutes away from second half action. Fitzgerald uh, on top, 21-14. Uh, Worth County with a late score as uh, the, the final seconds of the first half. They score with about 50 seconds to go in the half. The 46-yard touchdown strike. A uh, nice throw by their quarterback, Lyndon Worthy, the young freshman. He really throws the football well. And uh, Worth County right back in this ball game. Fitzgerald will be kicking off to start the second half, so we'll need a big defensive stand uh, from our Hurricanes. We once again, would like to congratulate Mr. John Haddon. He was the Fitzgerald High School College and Career Academy Teacher of the Year, and he was also awarded tonight the system-wide Teacher of the Year. So congratulations to Mr. John Haddon at Fitzgerald High School. We're getting ready to get this thing started. Uh, Worth County 2-0 uh, in the region. They defeated Berrien County and Dodge County. Uh, Fitzgerald 1-0 in region play. We defeated Dodge County two weeks ago. So this is a big matchup uh, against undefeated teams, and I've been very impressed uh, with Fitzgerald so far, and, and really uh, Worth County as well. Both teams have played pretty good. Fitzgerald with the first drive missed a few tackles that, uh, that led to the score for the Rams, and then I believe we had a coverage bust uh, right there at the end of the first half that allowed them to score on their first possession of the half, and they scored on their very last possession of the half. And so Fitzgerald with the seven-point lead. Just waiting on my, my, my partner, Hill Bill Bryant, to enter the booth, and we'll have a second-half action for you. Fitzgerald has this thing teed up at the 40-yard line. Griffin Cox out to kick this football away. Returners, returners for the Rams back at about their own 20-yard line. I, I told him, Bill, I said, look, Bill has stepped out. I said, it's going to be me and you the whole second half. He said, okay, I'm not bad, be fine. <laughs> but, he, but he never picked up the headset. Oh, now. gosh, here we go. Well, I'm just glad to have him here. Yeah. Uh, here visiting, I think. Uh, uh, he's yeah. worked with me at the shop two or three days. He's on spring break. And, uh Always fun to have Bryson uh, down from Sylvania. And uh, it looks, looks like a kickoff, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's a high pooch kick. It's going to be fielded at about the 34-yard line. We've got flags out on the kick. I'm pretty sure it may have been. Yes, we were off sides on the kickoff, so we'll back it up five and try it again. Bill, if he wants to. Learn how to sell a little insurance now. Just send him on down the road. I'm okay. just a block down. The, I'm just a block down the road. That's you come right. on down and work with us one. That's exactly one right. That's exactly right. And uh, so uh, we'll do that too, Hank. I'm sure will. And uh, so we're going to tee this thing up again after the five-yard penalty. Cox has it teed up at the 35. I'm certain this will be another pooch kick. Cox, on, Cox only a sophomore. Kicking this thing away. And it is. It's another high pooch kick, and it's a fair catch is called for at the 36 yard line. And Worth County will have it first and 10 at their own 36. Hank, just uh, reminding um, everyone that uh, Worth County just all of a sudden got back in this ball game. We were rolling and rocking alone, and Looked like we had this thing well under hand, and doggone it, you look around, and we're only trailing, or they're only trailing by seven. So uh, got to get back things going here. I want to thank Mike and Donna Norman for listening tonight. Also, Mr. Jeffrey Kite, uh, they're listening to Purple Hurricane Football. J.J. and Betty Lynn Johnson, Jason, Abby, and the kids all listening up in the North Georgia Mountains tonight. Thank you all for listening. First and ten now, twin receivers left for the Rams. It's a quick throw to the left side. Pass is complete. Uh, pretty good coverage over there for Fitzgerald. It's going to be a short game. Uh, we'll give him about three on the reception. I've got a shout out. To Jimmy, Emily, and Kate Howell listening to us. So they're up in Atlanta tonight, so they're watching and listening to the Canes. Going to bring up second down, and we'll call it a short seven, maybe a long six. Twin receivers now for the Rams to the right side. Worthy shotgun formation. Got a little movement on that defensive front, but I guess we did not get in the neutral zone. Coach Gamble still moving his guys around on the defensive side. 
Worthy takes him. He gives this thing to Chester. Chester around left end, trying to find some running room. Nice job over there on that far side. I'm trying to see who that was. I believe that may have been, was it Tillman? I think it was. That was Calvin Tillman. Hey, babe. How are you? Have you some pizza? Joined in the booth by Allie Brady, senior band member. You look good out on the field, honey. We're going to bring up a big third down now. A gain of maybe a half yard. We're going to call it third down and six after the run by Chester. Worthy takes. He's going to hit his back out of the backfield, and it's going to be a nice job by the Fitzgerald defense. A little out route by the wing back. And Bill Boone up quickly with the stop. The pass is complete, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down in about a yard now for the Rams. And let's see what Coach Hammond decides to do. Well, hey, the ball is still in Worth County territory. They only down seven. I don't know if he'll gamble at this point of the ball game. Still a lot of time. We just started the third quarter. But uh, let's see now. Maybe he is going to gamble. Looks like he is. Fourth down in the yard. Twin receivers to the left side. Worthy and Chester are in, in the backfield. The give us to Chester right up the middle of the field. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage and driven back. What a job by that Fitzgerald defense. That's a hold. And Fitzgerald will have it first and 10 on the Worth County side of the field. Hank, the gamble didn't pay off unless there's a penalty. Let's see what they're doing. A penalty bill. I didn't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. I did not either. But they're going to measure this thing? They are going to measure it. All right, Bryson, take a good look at that. Is it a first down Man, or not? This thing looks like it's at least a yard short. Bryson Scott says not enough for a first no. down. No. What do you think, Allie? I think I can see it. Allie says no. He didn't get it. <laughs> he's better. We got two sets of young eyes. They both say he's short. <laughs> I did not think he got back to the line of scrimmage. It was close, and he was a, they, he was a yard short if he, if he gets back to the line of scrimmage. But let's check his measurement. It'll be our ball if it uh, fails to make the line to gain. And let's stretch that stretch oh, that man. channel. It's way he off. He's going to be way short. He's going to be way I'm short. I'm surprised they even measure that, aren't you, Hank? Well, let's see well, now. I was going to say, taking a few lengths out of that chain. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Let's, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's he's two two feet at least short. Uh, I'm not even close. Fitzgerald has it first and ten, and the ball will be – at the 47-yard line of the Rams. What well, a nice job by that Fitzgerald defense. Well, you, you know, Hank, in those situations, though, uh, the, the opposing coach or either coach has an option to for the bring the chains out. And if it's close, generally those officials will uh, will honor that coach's request. Uh, so, uh, But I think on this side, we had a little closer view of it. It was no doubt it was going to be way short. Yes. Uh, the Worth County coach way on the other side of the field over there. But, uh, hey, we held on fourth down. The gamble did not pay off for Worth County. And Fitzgerald takes over, uh, moving it right to left. We're looking right at that National Guard armory on this possession. And on first down, it's going to be a direct snap to Pascal. Pascal trying to find some running room. Bounces off a couple of would-be tacklers. It's going to be a short game. We'll give him three, maybe four, but a nice tough run by Pascal. Not a lot there. And just lowered his shoulder and made a hole and will end up with a four-yard gain for Fitzgerald. Now, I've got several shout-outs that we'll get to here in uh, just a little bit, Bill. Second down, six. And again, we're in our heavy single wing packages, direct snap this time to Bill Boone. Bill right up the middle of the field, stays on his feet, and he'll go for what's gonna be close to a hurricane first down. We'll check the mark. Nice job by Boone. Not much there, just sort of weaving his way through. Was hit and, and stumbled and continued to move forward, and it is a hurricane first down. Hank, most nights, uh, Mike Rayner is with us with the school board show at Lennox, Georgia. He's out of town tonight uh, over in Alabama, so he was not able to bring us scores and uh, around the area. If you've got some uh, of games of interest, uh, you want to text myself or Hank, We'll try to get those scores on uh, to you tonight. 9.02 left in this third quarter. Fitzgerald 21, Worth County 14. First and 10 is direct snap. That's Doctor with the carry. Doctor still moving forward. He's hit hard, but continues to drive forward. And this is going to be a gain of five, maybe six for Doctor. Looks like Fitzgerald's coming out this second half. He just wants to see if we can just pound it right at him, Bill. 
so far so good. It's gonna be a gain of six for Doctor. Ball resting at the Worth County 30 yard line. Clock running, eight and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Fitzgerald up 21-14. Boy, if Worth County's got everybody stacked. I'd like to see a little jump pass here, but we're gonna take it. And this is gonna be a fantastic play by Worth County. Direct snap to Cam Johnson trying to get to the left side and he's hit in the backfield and he's gonna lose three, maybe four. And it's gonna bring up a third down and we'll call it six. Quick penetration off that, uh, the hurricane right side, just uh, a nice job by the defensive front of the Rams. Third down now, a long six. Tillman splits wide right. We've got Doctor and Pascal, and I believe Brandon Brown are the backs in the backfield. Now we're going to motion Tillman. We're going to Doctor fakes the reverse to Tillman and continues around the right side. He cuts it back. He's found a little crease, and he's going to go in for the score. <coughs> Antoine Doctor, we fake the reverse to Tillman. Doctor around right in and he plants his foot, found the crease and cut it back and right up in the middle of the field and there he goes. Touchdown Fitzgerald. Yes it was Hank, yes it was. A 33 yard touchdown run and a nice play there. Uh, uh, from it looked like up here he should have stayed outside but uh, his vision was much better than mine down there and he cut up field for a 33 yard touchdown run and Hank, how about the point after? How about that two point conversion? Fitzgerald in there, uh, they, they line up for the point after and they take the ball, flip it over. I believe that was Westbrook and Westbrook takes the flip and follows behind that big offensive line and pushes right into the end zone and the try for two is good. So with 7-17 remaining in this third quarter, your score from JC Stadium, Fitzgerald 29 and Worth County 14. You're listening to Hurricane Football on WRDO 96.9, and we'll be right back. And Worth County will have it at their own 33-yard line. Bill, what a nice job. A, a great defensive stand yeah. by our defense and then a quick score by the offense, exactly the way we need to start off this second half. Yeah, remember this drive started for Fitzgerald after Worth attempted a fourth and one, uh, maybe fourth and two, and fell well short of a first down. We took over in Worth County territory, and 47 yards later, we put some points on the board. Antoine Doctor, a 33-yard run for a touchdown. The point after good, point after for two was good. A 47-yard five-play drive. And this in-game scoring summary is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, uh, owner, agent of Coldwell Banker After Real Estate, and they're located at 125 South Main Street in Fitzgerald. Their phone number, 423-SOUL. That's 423-7653. And on first down, it's a quick throw. I believe that's out. Is that, uh, I believe that was eight, Bill. Wasn't it Fulton? I think it was. Let's see, he's coming back to the huddle. But anyway, it was a quick flip and we missed a couple of tackles and he streaks down the sideline for a big Worth County first down on the Hurricane side of the 50. They'll have the football at the Hurricane 47 yard line. And on first down, it's a give to Chester. He spins and makes a couple of guys miss, and he's going to get down close to another first down for the Rams. Yeah. 
They're going to mark him a, a little short. It's going to be second down in a couple. But a nice run by Chester. Bill, I noticed we were throwing pink footballs up into the stands tonight. Okay. On, out. on second down, Worthy drops straight back. He's got a receiver open on that far sideline. The pass is complete. Was he in bounds? Yes, they say he was. Not bad coverage for Fisher, but an absolutely perfect throw by Worthy. Just dropped it right in the basket over there on that far sideline. I was hoping he may have been out of bounds, but no such luck. And there's another first down for the Rams at the Hurricane 21-yard line. Worth County moving quickly. They take the snap, give to Chester. Whoa, what a hit. That was 22. Kingston Smith just absolutely lit up Chester. At the line of scrimmage, just a big hit. Whew. Well, you could hear that one up here, Bill. I heard it. I heard it, <laughs> Hank, and uh, no doubt that young Whew. man heard it down there, too. Yes, he did. So, uh, on second down now after no gain, Worthy trying to complete a pass. It's over on that far sideline. We had great coverage, and is this pass complete? I believe it is. A little out right. We were right there, but the pass will be called complete. It's going to be a gain of about eight, and third down now and two. Ball at the Hurricane 13-yard line. Worthy moving quickly again. Takes a snap. He gives to Chester. Chester finds some running room, and he's going to go in. Oh, he's going to, we're going to get him just before he goes in with the score, Bill. I thought he was in. We are able to get him down at about the one. Chester, when he plants his foot, he is mighty quick. Heading upfield again, Worth County gives to Chester. He's hitting the backfield this time. He's going to lose two or three yards. Great push by that Fitzgerald defensive front. Two or three Hurricanes there to hit him behind the line of scrimmage. Trying to see who gets up off the bottom of that pile. There were several. Christian Riggins was there. He was one of them. There were two or three others as well. That backs him up to about the four. Well, we'll call it the three. Worthy this time drops back, throws for the touchdown, and it is incomplete. He's, he's looking for a flag. I don't see anything coming out, and that's going to bring up a third down, just a quick little out route. Fisher had, I thought, pretty good coverage. Pass is incomplete, so now it's third down and goal. The ball at the three-yard line. The Fitzgerald faithful trying to cheer on this defense. Need a big stand. 4.56 remaining in the third quarter. Fitzgerald up by 15. Third down and goal to go for the Rams. Worthy and Chester, your back's in the backfield. Worthy takes him. He gives to Chester, and Chester's at the line, of, at the goal line. Let's see, they hit him and drive him back. Let's see if they're going to, does he get in? They say he does. Bill, we had him stood up. I thought we had it, and they wait so long to blow these whistles. And I think at the very end, his offensive linemen were able to just push him across the end zone. And it is a, well, let's see. <laughs> I thought they, I thought they said touchdown. Maybe. Yes, they did. They, okay, yeah. Yeah, they gave him the touchdown. I was going to say they had it marked as fourth down on the far sideline, but the official was uh, gave the signal, and it and it is a score. Worth County now going for two. Worth County, uh, they're in shotgun formation. Fitzgerald had an extra player on the field. No flag comes out. Uh, a little fortunate there for Fitzgerald. We had a. Defender trying to get off the field in the end zone, and he's uh, he was about a half yard short when that ball was snapped, but no flag, and the ball is incomplete. So Fitzgerald up by nine, Worth County 20, and Fitzgerald 29, and we'll go back to Paul in Roanoke Valley.
high pooch kick, but a nice one. Bill Boone takes it at about the 25 yard line and great coverage for the Rams. And uh, Bill Squirman trying to get some extra yards, but it'll take it out to about the 30 yard line. Fisher will have it first and 10 from there. Take a lot of scoring tonight, 49 points on the board, but this thing's far from over. Still yes. in the third quarter, Fitzgerald only up by nine. And the Worth County just keeps hanging around. They just keep hanging around. Yes, they do. Bill, I'm sure you do as well. I've got several shout outs. We'll try to get to them here in just a few minutes. Fitzgerald comes out. Looks like they're heavy Buffalo package, that single wing formation. I believe that's Doctor in the backfield to take this snap. It is, he's coming left, trying to find some running room, cuts it upfield, makes a first defender miss, still on his feet, driving forward. A nice tough run. It's gonna be a gain of close to 10. And yes, that was, that 13, Bill, is that 19? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it was 13, Dr. Okay. Whoever it was, it was a gain of 10 and a first down for Fitzgerald. I tell you, these black jerseys, it's hard to see these numbers on the Fitzgerald side as well. First and 10 now, the Hurricane 42 is a direct snap. We've got a swinging down the sideline. This is Cam Johnson, Cameron Johnson. What a nice job. Tried it at left tackle, nothing there. He bounced it wide and streaking down the sideline. They finally forced him out of bounds but not after a big gain, all the way down to the Worth County 32 yard line. What a job and nice run by Cam Johnson. Heck, I've got it 46 yards, of course, chalk a first down up and also back in Worth territory at the Worth 31. Nice job, Cam Johnson. Uh, man, his yardage are, are building up now. Six carries for 46 yards. First and 10. This time it looks like it's Pascal in the backfield. We've got a lot of movement along that defensive front of the Rams. Hard count by Pascal. And that's going to give us a quick five, Bill. Charlotte Rust is listening tonight. Let's see. I got Jason Couch. He said he could help someone with, uh, with a little surveying bill on some of these measurements if they need to. How about help us identify <laughs> these numbers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> on first and five, it's a direct snap. I believe was that Brandon Brown with the carry. That was Bill Number Boone. Two, Excuse yeah, Bill me. That's Bill Boone with the with the carry for Fitzgerald. Boone's going to pick up a couple. Let's give him. Let's give him three. It's going to bring up second down and two now uh, for Fitzgerald. Cindy Carswell, Abby Carswell, and Dalton Jones are listening to us tonight. Second down now, uh, about a yard and a half. Ball at the 23-yard line of the Rams. 235 remaining in this third quarter. Antoine Doctor, DeAndre Pascal, your back's in the backfield. This is Doctor straight up the middle of the field trying to find some running room. Not much there. He'll push forward. I believe he'll pick up a hurricane first down, but not much more. Only needed about a yard or two. And we'll give him, uh, let's give him three on that carry bill. And it's a hurricane first down just inside the 20 yard line of the Rams. Okay, folks, 220 left in the quarter. Fitzgerald up 29 20. We'll score and look, feel real good about it. And all of a sudden, Worth County will come back uh, uh, with, a, <laughs> yes. with a score of them all. They just won't go away tonight. They only trail by nine till a whole quarter of football to go. Yes, they just won't go away, Bill. Under two minutes now in this third quarter. First and 10, Hurricanes. Direct snap. This is Boone. Boone finds a little bit of room at the left tackle. Sort of weaves his way through. Lowers his shoulder, goes inside the 15, down to the 14. Gain of about six for the Fitzgerald quarterback. Well, I take that back, Bill. That was Brandon Brown, excuse was. me. Yep. That was Brandon Brown. These old eyes, Bill, they just aren't what they used to be. I got Jerry and Avery Tanner listening, saying, go Canes. Second down now, about four. 
poor Fitzgerald. And we've got whistles before the snap. This may be a timeout. I think the Rams, they did. They didn't like what they saw out there. We've got a timeout, Worth County. So with that, we'll go back to Paul. And once again, you're looking at Fitzgerald High School football on WRDO 96.9. Don't touch that dial. Got it. And we're back. Second down four. Fitzgerald again. His second half, we've really gone to that heavy single wing formation. This time it's Bill Boone. Bill takes it down. Looks like around the 11, maybe the 12. It's going to be a little shy of a first down, I believe. Maybe a yard. How about Hank and Leah Cook listening to us tonight? Said it's Samuel, home from dental school. Great. Listening to us tonight. Hope you all are enjoying the ball game. Samuel, hope you're doing well in dental school, son. If you need any help, don't call me. Let's see, 25 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Fits your third down in a couple. This is Pascal with the snap straight up the middle of the field. It's going to depend on the spot. He's going to be close to that first down. Need to get to the 10. It looks like that's about where they have this thing marked. Let's see what the official says. It's going to be awful close to a first down. And they may measure this thing. No. Well, I believe they're going to call it fourth down. I think we had to get to the 10, and it looks like we're about six inches short of that 10-yard line, and that'll be the final play of the third quarter. So after three, your score, Fitzgerald 29. Worth County 20, we'll be right back with this big fourth down play for Coach Pruitt and the Hurricanes. Welcome back to JC Stadium. Fourth down and about six inches. The ball just outside the 10 yard line. Need to get to the 10 yard stripe for the first down. Fitzgerald starting this second quarter up by nine. Worth County's played well tonight. Just uh, have not been able to put these guys away. Direct snap to Pascal, trying to find six inches. Let's see. And Pascal will. Pascal just fights through and he comes out the back end of the pile and this is a touchdown. How about that, DeAndre Pascal? 
Man trying to find about a six inches for the first down, just lowers his shoulder and bowls right through, and the next thing you know, he pops out the backside of the pile and carries it into the end zone for the score. Hank, I've got him at 10 yards. That ball might have been right at the nine, nine and a half, but let's give him 10 on the touchdown run, and uh, Fitzgerald now leads by a score of 29-20 with the point after to come. And uh, that looked a little better there, Hank. Yes, sir, Bill. Yes, sir. Nice 10-yard run there by Pascal for the score. So the first play of the fourth quarter, Fitzgerald stretches his lead to 35-20, and out comes Griffin Cox for the point after try. Another nice job there by Matthew Cowan on what looked to be a little bit of a low snap, and the kick by Cox is good. And so just starting this fourth quarter, Fitzgerald stretches the lead to 16. Your score, Fitzgerald 36, and Worth County 20. And once again, we'll go back down to Paul in Roanoke Valley. And Cox again with a pooch kick, this time right down the middle of the field, and it's fielded at about the 35-yard line. Will be brought out across the 40, out to the 42, and Worth County will have good field position for their first possession of this fourth quarter. Hank, I'll feel a little better up here. Fitzgerald 36, yes. Worth 20. Deon, DeAndre Pascal, a 10-yard touchdown run. The point after good, a 69-yard eight-play drive, and uh, that was the... Uh, that was the last run of that drive. DeAndre Passer, congratulations on another touchdown run. And this in-game scoring summary, uh, let's get this play over with first, Hank. Now, first and 10, the ball spot at the 40-yard line. Twin receivers left, single receiver to the right side. Worthy takes, throws quickly. Little swing route to his receiver on the left side. Bill Boone right there with the tackle, but it'll be a gain of four on the completion with the Rams. Bill, I've got a couple more shout outs. My old buddy Michael Smith is listening to us tonight. Smitty, hope you're enjoying the ball game. And uh, Daniel Calhoun as well. Daniel's giving me some scores. Toombs County 20, Applin County 7, and Lowndes 19 14 over Val Austin. Heck, I believe Toombs County was 6 0 going into tonight, wasn't yes. it? Yes. On second down and five, this is worthy with a pass right over the middle of the field. It was tight end. This is going to be a completion and a big first down into Hurricane territory across the 40-yard line down to the Hurricane 39. There they go, Rams. Move that young, ball again. This little quarterback is a freshman. Um, he is going to be something special over the next few years. That's a low snap. Worthy picks it up. He's got another receiver open in the middle of the field. Another nice throw. I believe this from Balls out, balls out, balls out. I believe Fitzgerald has it. we got to have it. There's only four or five black jerseys all over it. We've got a... We've got a flag over here on the sideline. Not sure what this is all about, Bill. Well, the flag is because we took our helmet off out on the field. And uh, I think that'll draw a flag, doesn't it, Hank? We did recover what yes. I think was a fumble by Worth County. Had a player took his helmet off. Will this be before the interception? No, it was after right. the interception. Well, see, I, I would assume it would be an unsportsmanlike after the interception. But let's check this call. I mean, after the fumble recovery. It was a 12-yard reception for, yes. for a nice throw and catch. Uh, Another very nice throw by Worthy, and I believe that was, was that Fulton again, Bill? I thought it was Fulton number eight on the reception. And it will be after the fumble, but they're going to back Fitzgerald up uh, 15 yards, and uh, it's going to take us back to about the 11, maybe let's call it the 12. 
Fisher will have it first and 10 at their own 12 yard line. We did have a, a young man uh, took his helmet off as he was running off the field, and that's a no-no in high school football. Who recovered the formal Hank, do we know? I do not, Bill. I don't either. There were four or five guys on the pile there, and they all came running to the sideline. We've got an injury timeout on the field with 10.45 remaining in this football game. Fit show up by 16, and so we'll go back to Paul and hear from our sponsors. Got it. Fortunate there. Yep. We'll take it back whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, take it. And we're back to JC Stadium. Fitzgerald has it first and 10 at their own 12 yard line after the fumble and penalty. Uh, just under 11 minutes remaining in the football game. Fitzgerald up by 16. We've got Wilson Davis, shotgun formation, twin receivers left, single receiver to the right side. Now we're going to motion a back left. And we're going to give, we're going to pump fake left, and we're going to give to Cam Johnson on a little end around. Johnson is hit hard and driven out of bounds, and I believe he was hit out of bounds. The flag comes out. It was a, He was forced out at about the 20-yard line, but I believe we're going to have a late hit and an additional 15 yards added on to the end of this run. I think you're right, Hank, on that. They, we gave them a 15 yard, and they've given it right they back gave to it us. Right back. Right. I think, I think they did, Bill. Yep, personal foul against the Rams, so they'll, uh, they'll mark off 15 more, and Fitzgerald will have it out around their 35 yard line, first and 10. Now we've got Appling County 21, Tombs 20, and five minutes left in that football game. Thank you, Daniel Cal <coughs> Calhoun, for those updates. Hank, I want to say hello to the uh, back deck crew, uh, Larry, Edward, Betty, and Debbie. They're listening tonight, as they are every Friday night, to Purple Hurricane football. Bill Boone takes a snap, throws quickly to the left side. It's a completed pass. And a nice run after the catch. I believe that's Antoine Doctor. He's going to be out close to another hurricane first down. I believe it's going to be second down and maybe a, a yard. A nice throw and catch. Boone to Doctor. Clock running. Ten minutes remaining in the ball game. Ball at the Hurricane, uh, just over the Hurricane 43-yard line. The second down one. Again, we want to congratulate Mr. John Haddon for his uh, Teacher of the Year system-wide. Uh, he was the representative from Fitzgerald High School, and congratulations to him. On second down, I believe this may be Brandon Brown looking for some room to run, and Brandon Brown just lowers his shoulder and runs right over the linebacker. Fort Worth County, just nice, tough running. Had just a little bit of a crease, but boy, he introduced himself right there. And a first down for Fitzgerald, the ball at the Hurricane 49-yard line. Whew. Hank, I'm going to say this again tonight. We mentioned the pink out tonight. I tell you, congratulations to all that were involved in promoting that around the community. I'm not sure I've seen uh, better attended, better uh, folks out tonight, just uh, really represented the pink out tonight, and congratulations to all the, those that were involved with that. Awful lot of pink in the stadium, Bill. And here's a direct snap. This is Cam Johnson. Johnson makes a couple guys miss. It's a foot race. Let's see how he's not going to win this race. <laughs> They're going to run him out of bounds. 
Had the sideline, and he's streaking down it, but uh, he realized quickly he would not win that foot race. Tried to cut it back inside, but another big game for Fitzgerald, and it's first and 10 at the Worth County 24-yard line. Another nice run. Cam Johnson having a very good football game tonight, Bill. He, he is, Hank. He is Cam Johnson on the night. Eight carries, 79 yards. Uh, that's not his uh, biggest carry of the night. He had a 31-yard carry back in that third quarter. So Cam Johnson, eight carries, 79 yards uh, tonight. Got three runners that are pretty close on, on stats tonight. Antoine Doctor, seven carries, 78 yards. And DeAndre Pascal, 10 carries for 77 yards. And here's a direct snap to Bill Boone. Bill trying to patiently find somewhere to go, and he's going to be hit from the backside. Be a short game for Fitzgerald, maybe a yard. Boone really uh, trying to be patient to find somewhere to go right there at left tackle and just nowhere to go. And uh, he will get a yard, but nothing more. Eight minutes now remaining in the football game. Fitzgerald still with the 16 point lead, just trying to burn this clock and punch one more in and see if we can put this thing away. Fitzgerald, for the most part, uh, has really stuck with this heavy, they call it a Buffalo package, their heavy single wing package. And once again, we line up left side, a direct snap to Doctor, makes a couple of guys in the backfield miss. He's still on his feet, a nice run there. Antoine Doctor making some Rams miss. He took what I thought would be a short uh, one or two yard gain, and he's gonna pick up six, maybe seven yards. And it's gonna bring up third down and short now for Fitzgerald, third down and a couple. Antoine Doctor and, and Cam Johnson, both are juniors. Those guys have really played well tonight. Uh, sort of bodes well for the future for Fitzgerald. Uh, these guys really, Bill, up to this point have not gotten a, a whole lot of run at, at running back. They played some, but uh, not the number of carries that we're seeing tonight. And uh, really making it pay off. And it looks like we've got Calvin Tillman this time set up to take this direct snap. As the clock goes under seven minutes, and it is, it's Tillman trying to find somewhere to go and Tillman's still on his feet. He picks up a hurricane first down. Let's see, he's gonna be down around the 10, trying to see if he just got there or not. It's gonna be close. I think he's gonna be just outside the 10. So Fitzger will be able to pick up a first down. This ball is gonna be spotted on about the 10 and a half yard line. 36-20 is your score. 6.39 left in the quarter. And Hank, uh, we'll be on the road next week over at Jeff Davis, it looks like, if the schedule's right. Yes, I think that's right. One more update from Daniel Calhoun. America's 38, Barron County 14. First and 10 Hurricanes, ball uh, just outside the 10. And we've got, we've got, uh, <laughs> we've got some motion. I don't believe he hit Gabe quite as hard as he made yeah. out out there, Bill. What you think? He's a good actor in here. He right? certainly is. He, he did, he did uh, hit Gabe, but Gabe's about 6'5", 300, and he came uh, go, flying backwards like he was hit by a Mack truck air bill, but I, I don't think he hit him quite that hard. <laughs> <laughs> but he did, get the, he did get the call. They're going to step off five against the Rams. First down and five. Clock now under six minutes to go. And I believe, Bill, this is, I believe this is Boone this time set to take the snap. It is Bill trying to find some running room and just absolutely nowhere to go. A nice job there by that Ram defensive front. Really had the, def uh, the offensive line stood up. And give Boone a yard on the carry. He'll take it down, I think, just maybe inside the five yard line. The biggest thing is this clock continues to run. Fitzgerald with a two a touchdown lead if they can convert both two point conversions. But uh, 520, 519, and hopefully Fitzgerald fixes to punch this thing in one more time and, and put this ball game away. And looking to go 2 0 in the region. A win last a couple of weeks ago against Dodge County and now Worth County tonight, and then a road trip uh, next week over to Jeff Davis. Look forward to going, going over to Jeff Davis. This is Pascal, and look at Pascal just running through him, Bill. My goodness, he's hit. He bounces off, just keeps those legs churning. 
and he carries it into the end zone, and it's another touchdown Fisher. What a nice, tough five-yard run by DeAndre Pascal. Yep, that's what it was. He scored it um, just a few minutes ago with 11.52 in the quarter, and there at five, uh, 4.57, DeAndre Pascal, another five-yard touchdown run, and uh, feeling a little better tonight. Uh, yes. Right now, 36-20 is your score. Bill, what a job by this Fishell offense the second half. Uh, we've had three possessions, three touchdowns. Uh, we've had a, uh, a five yard, uh, excuse me, a five play, 53, uh, excuse me, 47 yard drive. The point after try is blocked, by the way. Uh, we've had a, a 69 yard eight play drive, and that was an 88 yard eight play drive for three scores in this second half to put this football game away. With 457 remaining in the contest, your score now from JC Stadium, your good guys, the Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes 42 and Worth County 20. And once again, we'll go back to Paul and hear from our sponsors. Well, that was a big drive right there, Bill. 88 Got yards, it. burning clock. How long, 88 yards? 88 uh, yards and eight plays. All right, we're going to uh, we need a defensive player of the game. All right. I think uh, I want to mention uh, Deion, DeAndre Pascal, a five-yard touchdown run. The point after was bought, an 88-yard eight-play drive. And Fitzgerald now leads in the ball game by a score of 42 to 20. And this in-game scoring summary is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner, agent of Coldwell Banker Active Real Estate. And they are located at 125 South Main Street in Fitzgerald. And their phone number is 229-423-SOLD. That's 229-423-7653. Bill, that was a high pooch kick again by uh, Griffin Cox, and it was fair caught by the Rams at their own 30-yard line. They'll set up there first and 10. Twin receivers left, single receiver the right side. Nice job there, Calvin Tillman, excellent coverage. That little short slant from the inside receiver has been successful all night and Tillman right there read that all the way there to knock that football away. Nice defensive play by the Fitzgerald senior. Incomplete pass, clock stopped and uh, Worth County back to the line of scrimmage as Hank said, second and 10. And a snap, a bad snap, it's on the ground. Pearl Worthy picks it up and just hurricanes everywhere and he is drilled and dropped for a big loss. Just absolutely nothing he could do there. He picks that ball up, and there were four Hurricanes just all over him, led by Antoine Doctor. Young man's played a fine ball game on both sides of the football. It's going to bring up third down now. Now that's a loss of about eight on the play. Third down, 18. Worthy drops straight back, trying to go right side, just a little go route down the right seam. <laughs> this is going to be a nice play for the Rams. Uh, our defender over there, I believe that's Bill Boone. Nope, excuse me, that's Jay Alexander. Went up for the interception and uh, was just out jumped by the receiver for the Rams. Really thought we might come away with that football. And uh, a nice catch by the Rams receiver. And this is a big first down into Hurricane territory at the Hurricane 43-yard line. Bill, I believe if Jay had to do that to do over again, he'd just jump up and knock that ball away. Not sure who caught that ball for the Rams, but congratulations, yeah. a nice catch, a 33-yard reception. And yes, it did cross midfield, and uh, they've got the ball at the Fitzgerald 44-yard line. Let's see what we've got here. We've got whistles on the field. official all right I think they're just trying to I'm not exactly sure what they're doing Bill they the officials have discussed something 
Now they're ready for football action again. Here we go. They blow the play live. Four minutes remaining in the football game. Fitzgerald with a 22-point lead. Worthy this time just to go route this time down the left side, trying to get the ball to Fulton, and out comes a couple of flags. I think mean, they're going to get Bill Boone for pass interference. Bill does not agree with that call at all. But this will be an interference call uh, against the Hurricane. Maybe a holding call. Let's see exactly what they're going to call here. Well, in high school, Hank, uh, you might as well take the penalty if someone's going to beat you deep because it's only a 15-yard penalty. It's yeah. not a spot foul. And they uh, they but actually called a hold instead of instead of pass interference, Bill. They 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 said that Bill had a had had him a handful of jersey. That may be a 10-yard penalty instead of a 15. Is that right? I think it is. I think it is. That'll be 10 yards and another first down for the Rams. The ball down now, the Hurricane 33-yard line. On first down, Worthy again drops back, looking deep down the right sideline, and out comes another flag. I think they're going to get Fitzgerald once again. A little out and up. Jay Alexander on the coverage for the Hurricane. Uh, Fitzgerald getting a little, a little sloppy with some, with some penalties here late in this ball game. We'll check this call. But uh, and this time it will be pass interference against the Hurricanes. <laughs> I don't think some of the Fitzgerald faithful like that call either, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's is that Caden Chester down there uh, on that that receiver that's so fast. I think he's yeah. just running by and they having to I, grab him. I think he is again. One more time, it's Worthy trying to take this ball. This time a little uh, uh, stop route and nice coverage. That was Jay Alexander this time with excellent coverage. Uh, breaks up this pass. 3.45, uh, this game was just rolling right along and I was beginning to creep. Second down and 10, twin receivers left, single receiver to the right side. Worthy again, drop straight back. We're trying to get some heat on him. He's got a receiver down to the goal line. It's, whew, a very nice throw. I could not tell if we got a hand in there to break that thing up or if it was just a drop by the Rams if that ball was right on the mark. I believe that was Fulton, number eight, the intended receiver, Bill. I'm, I, yeah, I think so. When they get over on that far sideline, man, I don't know, I, I think it's maybe Fulton over on this side. <laughs> <laughs> As I look at it. And we're going to have a timeout call by the Rams. It's going to be third down and 10 with 3.39 remaining in the football game. Don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back. And on third down and 10, we've got another little fade route. Worthy trying to get this ball to Dalton, uh, to Fulton, excuse me, to Fulton this time. And excellent coverage by Bill Boone right there in stride. And the ball will fall incomplete. And it's going to bring up fourth down and 10 yards to go for the Rams. The football at the Hurricane 18-yard line. 
Here we go, D. Twin receivers left, single receiver to the right side. Worthy throws to his right, and uh, Jay Alexander, once again, excellent coverage, and this ball is incomplete. And the football will be turned over on downs back to the Hurricanes, and with 3.29 remaining in the contest, Fitzgerald up by 22, and we'll have the ball first and 10 at our own 18-yard line. Well, Hank, uh, man, the stadium is quickly emptying yes. now. Uh, Fitzgerald up 42-20 in the last effort by the Rams. That'll do, that'll do it tonight. We'll run this clock out. Not sure how many first downs, or excuse me, timeouts Worth County has. Probably won't use any of them here as we'll take a knee, a couple of knees, get this thing over with, and Fitzgerald will move to 2-0 and in region play. And uh, you can be thinking about that victory milkshake, I think. Yes, to, uh, no doubt uh, about it, Coming Bill. up later tonight. No doubt about it, Bill. On first down, we've got Davis under center. He's going to take the snap. And we're going to give this thing on the little counter. Is that Westbrook, I believe, with the, with the carry? Not sure, let's check that number. I think it's Westbrook, we'll see. He's coming off on the sideline. Uh, let's see, yep, is that zero? I think it was 20, I think that's Tyson King. It okay. was, that's number 20, Tyson King on the carry. Cam Walden just texted me, Coffee County. He said they held on to beat Bradwell Institute tonight, 62 to seven. <laughs> Hell no. Yes, how about, uh, how about Coffee County, ranked number one, Bill, in 5A. They're really playing well over in Douglas. Appling County, 20, 28 to 20 over Tombs. Thank you for that update, Daniel Calhoun. And I'm assuming that's a final. On second down and seven, Davis with a little quick pass out to his left. Doctor with the reception. And it will go for a hurricane first down. Needed seven and picked up eight. So 225 remaining in the ball game. And Fisher has it first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Hal, I'm gonna leave as soon as this game's over. Okay. Bill's gonna need some help getting all this broken down. That might be already hooked up, Hal. Direct snap. Is that Cam Johnson again? Another nice run, quick, nice speed, and a quick hitter. We are trying to see who that is. That was. Let's see who that is. We got a new, got a new running back, Bill. That was Daniel Harris, 33. Okay. How many yards on the pickup, huh? He picked up 10 and 10? a hurricane first down. Okay. Nice. That's a sophomore, Daniel Harris. I've heard about him at practice. Uh, Young man's been looking mighty good, giving him an opportunity here with the big lead. But I think they're expecting big things out of Daniel Harris as they uh, as they move forward uh, in the next couple of years. A late shout out from Joe and Virginia Rogers listening tonight. Here we go again, Hank. Yes. Let's see who this is. That Harris again. I believe it is Bill. A young sophomore. That's a gain of nine. The young man looks pretty good. He keeps running like this, Bill. About to see somebody see him a little earlier in the ball game. <laughs> Under a minute now, 45 seconds remaining. Uh, probably enough time for maybe one more play, and uh, we'll we'll call this thing a wrap. It's going to be another big win for Fitzgerald. 42-20 is your score. Fitzgerald will go to 2-0 in the region and will be traveling to Hazelhurst next week uh, to play Jeff Davis. I believe that's correct. One more rush, Hank. Who was that? Uh, let's, let me check, Bill. So I'm giving you the easy questions I'm tonight. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I just got a text. That was Harris one more time, Bill. Okay. Yeah, that, that was not a final from Applin. The score is 28 all. Applin in tunes with 53 seconds remaining in that football game. Again, thank you to Daniel Calhoun. And I believe that is going to be the last play in this contest, and it will be 
The good news from J.C. Stadium, Fitzgerald 42, Worth County 20. Please stay tuned. Hal Wiley will have a post-game interview with head coach Tucker Pruitt. You certainly won't want to miss that. And Bill will come back with all the end-of-game stats. So you stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. Ninety-six point nine, a big win for Fitzgerald, a region win for the Hurricanes. We go two and zero oh on the year. Uh, as I look out on the field, the uh, Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes—they are gathering uh, uh, in front of their head coach Tucker Pruitt, and the Worth County Rams—they also are gathering in front of their coaches. They are discussing some some plans, post-game plans. Uh, both coaches talking to their team, but a big win tonight for Fitzgerald.